What's going on, friends? It is Friday, Vape Stew Friday. We are here live. Bam! We got some very special guests for you guys this evening. Talk about a little bit of heavy metal vapor. Talk about a little bit of Mikey Mother Vapes. You know, you guys know I censor that stuff. You know, yeah, just do it. Uh, my name's Stan. Yeah, I said, uh. And you have found the Tenacious CS Vape Stew. here guys what are you laughing at dude what are you laughing at i think we started that okay i know we got a little bit of echo there for a second right Did, i i didn't turn it and nobody's talking to me you guys are cool you guys are cool we can talk now yeah absolutely can talk everybody no. can talk oh now. has permission been granted permission <laughs> yes joel permission has i'm sorry i'm sorry i thought you guys uh, i thought you guys got the whole thing when the video is over and i say hey guys what's going on i'm talking to you i'm not talking to myself <laughs> I honestly had no fucking clue what was going on. Uh, well, we try, I, oh, I try to do this like little professional intro thing, you know, try to make it yeah. cool. And... Michelle, Michelle Lynn said porn music. Heck yeah, dude. That's that's the 80s intro, man. It's got the little neon lights on the on the wall, little vape stew flash action, and the little chick pouring water on her head, you know, flash dance. Oh, that part didn't play. But uh, <laughs> anyway, dude, guys. Mike Vapes, Heavy Metal Vapor, over here. You guys say what's up, man. Good evening, everyone. What's up? What's up, man? Very cool. I know I know that these guys in chat are very excited that you guys are here. Uh, we've been getting um, all kinds of comments on Facebook, Vape Stew Crew, all day long, and uh, Instagram and things like that. I I'm excited that you guys are here. Um, let's go through, let's introduce ourselves like we always do. Let's talk a little bit about what we're vaping on and, uh, let's have a drink. Why don't you start guest of honor, Mr. Heavy Metal Vapor. All right. So, uh, let's see, what am I vaping on? I've got the hot sig, uh, rig worldwide, whatever the fuck they're calling this thing with the, uh, 502. Uh, I've got this new thing from Wismec that I've really been enjoying the, uh, Luxotic nc i think with the guillotine version two on there i figured it's only right to run the dreamer with the apocalypse on uh on the vape stew show like yeah. you gotta you gotta run the dreamer right Heck yeah man and then uh for the for the stack fanatics out there we got the uh commandant i, I keep wanting to call this the commodore i don't know why uh commandant Another Apocalypse V2. Uh, in all of those <clears throat> beautiful little jewels, I've got some uh, White Rabbit from Earth's Bounty. I've got some Chemical X from The Cloud Chemist. And uh, probably my favorite uh, all-day vape right now, the uh, Saturn from Out of This World. It's a peanut butter custard. And, uh, dude, I vape that shit by the gallons. Very cool, very so cool. uh yeah that's what i've got who should i send it over to what are you I'm drinking gonna... on you drinking on anything in particular this evening uh drink pepsi in the old school can that's what we've got dude i worked my fucking ass off today so like drinking tonight is a no go plus mike kind of ruined me on uh on drinking for a minute i so, saw some uh, of those live shows man i saw some uh, of them Oh my God, dude. He hurt my, he hurt my feelings with those damn Tito's and cranberries. <laughs> Who are you going to send it to, man? Send it, send it around. Do it, let's see. I'm going to send it over to Demo because I like how his beard is, is very well shaped. So, would, you, would you believe that I have not trimmed my beard at all since I started growing it? It is really? just grows in this shape. Nice. Yeah, my, it's it's due for a trim, but my I barber will, tells me that I have a, a a natural, like a natural square shape to my beard as well. So I can respect that. I gotta find a barber that can actually do a, a good beard trim. How long but, have you been growing it for, Demo? Oh, uh, I have no idea at this point, man. Every every week, someone's like, "Dude, your beard's getting bigger." So it's, <laughs> it, it happens, man. Anyway, what's up, everybody? I'm Demo with Demo Vapes. 
Oi! Um, and I am vaping tonight on a few different things. I've got the Dragon Scale uh, 2700 uh, Lazy Vapors box with the Entheon with the Hattion cap on top. This has some Not From Concentrates by Adore E-Liquids inside. Fantastic vape. Um, in addition to that, the only other, uh, sorry, to take it back. Um, I've got the Berserker RDA, looking like a little nipple there, um, on top of my uh, Squid Industries double barrel. It's pretty good. It's okay. I think I think I like the tank better, but this uh, it's still good MTL RDA. Um, and that I also was the review, was, everybody. Yeah, right. There you go. Boom. <laughs> Demo review. <laughs> ah, you know. Um, all right, and I also have the Nudge 22 on top of the Dull Dime mods from Michelle Lynn. It's Altoids, uh, Altoids tin. It's a dual parallel with a little uh, voltage guy in the in the inside there. So, that's Demo, pretty... how did you get a hold of a Dull Dime mod? Uh, well, the answer is uh, I did on the after show while Michelle was there. I did my impression of Rick from Rick and Morty, and she died laughing and said she was going to give me a mod. <laughs> And that's pretty much it. And I, I, I was just like, okay, like, yay, you know, like, sure. So massive shout out to Michelle Lynn. Do appreciate that very much. Um, and then I just got some pod systems. Um, I've got Kilo 1K, still vaping on the fix because I like it a lot. Um, and I got the Miley here as well. And that is it for vapes for me as far as what I'm drinking. I've got the Odell Rupture, which they say this is a fresh grind ale. Some sort of hop grinding procedure that releases the lupulin oils or something. It's very good. And that's that's all I have. Why don't why don't we go down um, to Mike Vapes? Let's see here. Oh, I was okay. Oh, yeah. okay. I'm sorry. Oh, well, okay. Stan, are you gonna let him pass it well, off? No, or you no, gonna, no, no, no. Well, show? I well, fine. Just, normally I'll pass it off. Normally, I'll pass it off. It's fine. Mike Vapes. Please pass it off. <laughs> Thank you. Hello, yeah. everyone. What's up? What's up? Let's do a dive down. Oh, oh, hell yeah. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Fancy. Mike's yeah. always big boy in people. Oh, big what is right that? Now. I'm vaping on this uh, RGX 480. It's got the Yee Heat 75 watt chip inside there. Got the GR1 24 millimeter from gas mods. Uh, liquid that we have inside here is some of this stuff right here. Tinted brew. We are vaping on that. We are also vaping on Boxer DNA 250C, iconic on top, liquid, some Asai original inside. I think that's the way you call it, right? Asai or Asai or Asui <laughs> or something like that. Sure. Paranormal DNA 250, Coil Art Mage V2, liquid inside here is Strawberry Delight. Vaping on that. We are also vaping on the uh, SQ Punisher Edition B2K. Inside here, we are vaping on some Blast Peach. Some Blast oh, Peach. My man. <laughs> some Blast Peach inside there. And uh, what else are you vaping on, Mike? Also vaping on the Pumper with uh, my Nunu, the Recurve RDA. Ooh. Inside there, we are vaping on. Where is that juice? Where's my smoothie or whatever it's called? Look at when you lose a bottle and it's like right in front of you. Anyway, it's somewhere around here, the liquid I'm vaping on. But anyway, yes, that's it. That's what I'm vaping on today. Very cool, very cool. Get Mike, away. why don't you pass it off? Are you wait, yes. what, are you, what are you drinking, Mike? You're very oh, interesting. Oh, hold up, drink. hold up. We got to do the drink too. <laughs> <laughs> Slide right there. We, we, we drink it on some Poland spring, baby. <laughs> natural spring water. Don't lie. It's filled with vodka. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, vodka. Oh, here's the juice. There it is. It's, yeah, I told you it was in front of me. This stuff right here. That's what I'm vaping on with the recurve. Take it away, Mr. Nick. Hey, uh, yeah. Real quick before I get started here, I just want to give a quick shout out to om.my.lanta on Instagram. <clears throat> he tagged us in a post uh, pre-show. So if you want a shout out on uh, the Instagrams, then make sure you just post something, you watching the show or repost one of our little show promo things and you'll get a shout out at some point on this show. So big shout out to you, Om My Lanta. What I'm vaping on? Well, for those of you that joined me earlier for my little 
Fresh Build Friday live stream, I finally got around to building the VFang, but it's not with the VFang RDA because that thing is a piece of shit. I watched that. I saw that. That what would you? That's not so Fresh Build Friday, right? Is that Dude, that thing. I, I was at my wits end with that thing. Seriously, I was over it. Um, so I ended up building the Bonza. We got around uh, Wallet Ninja to the rescue for the install on the Bonza pin, uh, the squonk pin for this thing. So yeah, I ended good, up- Good job on that build earlier, by the way. It was very uh, professional. What? <laughs> Shut up, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I thoroughly enjoyed myself. Let me just say that. Uh, at least it was entertaining, all right? <laughs> you got to give me that at least. Absolutely. Um, so we got the Bonza on there, rocking some coil turd. Wait, wait. Coil turd, uh, aliens, the triple 26 aliens that he makes, which are fan freaking tastic. Flavor on this thing is phenomenal. Speaking of flavor, I've got Silverback Lola in one of the chambers. And I also have Mayhem Vapor Tropaculada. Um, make sure you use the coupon code Chicken Arms if you want to grab yourself some Silverback this week. Chicken uh, that Arms. Arms. <laughs> we'll have to explain that after we go around what let's explain that that little meme um so yeah that's uh, my first setup there next one i've got is another kind of uh, review testing for review sort of setup this is the sanso qiu 200 watt box random random uh but it's very reminiscent of the yu from tesla with the Suthulu, whatever it's called on top of there. <laughs> the Suthulu RTA, the mouth to lung banger. <laughs> okay, sure. Well, it's, I don't know. I think it has a, a more specific name, but I can't remember. I don't know. <laughs> Either way, it's it's a mouth to lung little tank. Uh, it's okay. I don't know. Um, in that, what do I have in there? I don't even re remember what I have in there. I don't have the juice on me. Either way, um, what is that? Oh. oh, you know what? It's from Vapor 9. Uh, I forget the name of the flavor, but it's from Vapor 9. You'll see it on my vlog in a couple of days. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm rocking in there. And my last setup is the Purge, the double stacked, double twisted Purge with the Recoil Rebel on top of there. I also built this on my uh, live stream. Um, Fuse Clapton's in here using 27 gauge cores and 40 gauge outer all canthal from Twisted Messes. Twistedmesses.com. Use the coupon code DailyVapeTV for 10% off and 20% off wire with the coupon code FreshBuildFriday. Had to get that little that get them all in there, Nick. Get them shameless all plug. Bro. Speaking of shameless plug, Mike, <laughs> my brother, Blaz, Blaz Peach, rocking that Blaz Peach with the uh, the old school label on there. We got the new labels in. They look really good. Um, boxes are coming too. So very excited about that. Mike, thank you for rocking that. I, I do appreciate you actually you using it. I, I try not to give away juice that people aren't going to use. And I know for a fact that you were going to use at least the, the berry. Uh, oh, yeah, so you were trying to give me the mango. I told you that. Don't even no, know. Save but, it. <laughs> but you know, you tried the peach. I'm glad you're, are you yep. digging it? Good shit. All right. I cool. love the peach. All righty. So that's me. That's me. That's what I got for today. I'm just going to start calling you peaches, Nick. Do it. Uh, it's Ken is gonna, vaping with Ken is going to sing me uh, peaches from the, what is it? The dead Millions of peaches. peaches the United States of America. Peaches yeah. for yeah. me. He's going to okay. sing that to um, me at some point. I can't, I can't take credit by the way, because somebody in chat said Nick's name is now peaches. So. Oh, well, there no, actually Jay Hayes, who's in chat, his nickname is peaches. No oh, shit. is it now? <laughs> Duly noted. And I guess I'm going to sling it on over to Mr. Just Right One. And I'm going to chuck a flea flicker to Stan. Have at it. What? <laughs> flea flicker. What? Flea, flea flicker. flicker. Dude, you know, you know I can't be no running back. Um, all right. So here's the deal. What's going on, guys? I guess I I'm used to going last, so I don't really know what I'm doing here. <laughs> Um, I got a few setups that I'm testing right now. I'm testing the X mini by desire. It's got the Bravo on there just cause I wanted some tank action. Uh, inside that I am rocking the purple heart adore e-liquid strawberry submission. Also, I am rocking a black 
Not Cerakoted. Everybody thinks it's Cerakote. This is not a Cerakote. Black Coated Dreamer uh, with the Rig Mod Worldwide Model 41 on top. Inside that, I got the last of my rounds Apple Kiwi, which I need to talk to somebody about getting some more. And then uh, <laughs> also very very special gift from a very very special guy in the chat right now the armageddon v3 squonk box with the this is not the one up for giveaway you guys okay this is not the one he provided for the vape stew crew giveaway this is one i purchased because i was jealous of the one that he got for the vape stew crew giveaway and i felt like this box needed an armageddon rda so that's the redemption on top. Inside that, I've got Lola as well. And Silverback Chicken Arms is the code. Check out Silverback <laughs> Distro, our great sponsor of the Vape Stew. And then I'm rocking a very highly, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I, I, I wanted to say anticipated, but that's not it. What's it called whenever you're um, causing issues or like people are like, I don't know. Controversial? The controversial. Yeah. The Yup <laughs> RDA. I'm rocking on top of the Vapor Storm. What is this thing called? In Subverter Mod. I'm testing those two things out. Inside that, I got some 9PM by SQN Vapor. I'll put a uh, code for them down in the chat. Not because I get anything out of it or they help me out or anything. Just because I like the juice and I think you guys should try it. Next... I am rocking also a Vapor Storm, which I did the review on. Vapor Storm Squonk Mod, the Raptor with the what's this thing called? This is the uh, Templar RDA, and yeah, the Bestia. Last thing, the Bestia, the Bestia with the Phobia on oh, top. It's got that side fire button. There. Dude, right. go watch my live stream on Mail Time Demo. This okay. thing is sick as ill as breasts. This thing is ill as breasts. Yes. And then uh, I was watching Nick's um, catastrophe of a fresh build Friday. <laughs> and uh, Shut up. I decided to build my stack too while he was doing that with the new uh, Revenge RDA that I got on top of the overpowered mod. These are both from the same uh, website. This has a 0.5 in it, though, so it's not ramping that well on Dual 21700. And then drinking. I'm halfway through what I brought to drink already. I'm finishing up the summer pills that I got from uh, St. Arnold. And I've got the last of the dome foam from Ape Wonder somewhere around here. Oh, here it is. Last of the dome foam with the Astrodome on there because, yeah, Houston, Texas. So uh, how about you, Joel? What? What about me? Well, you threw me the flea fl flicker, so, uh, you know, we're back You're on the other side. You're supposed to throw me the touchdown pass now, damn it. No, nah, we're back on the other side of the field, bro. What's up? <laughs> hey, guys, Mr. Just Right One checking in with y'all today. How the hell are y'all doing? I'm doing absolutely wonderful. I am vaping on all kinds of shit today, guys. I, you know, I said, you, typically you only send me one or two vapes. I said, nope. These guys always come up with like 12 and 13 different vapes and juices they're vaping on. I'm going to do the same thing. So prepare yourselves, grab a pillow, grab a book, grab something good to drink. This shit's about to get deep. All right. <clears throat> First off, I got that Luxottica with the Etheon sitting up top. And inside of that, I got one of my new favorite juices, guys. I have been killing this. This is that Salted Caramel Depths by Leviathan Line, Hometown Heroes. I guess that's how you pronounce that shit. It's good stuff. They actually sent me like a whole box full of that stuff. So shout out to Hometown Hero for that. Much love. Greatly appreciate that. Next, I got my affordable little 18650 squonk with the radar on top, the whole little kit. Inside of it, I'm rocking that Squares Raspberry from the same guys that make rounds. New Dimensions. What do you know? Oh, what the hell is that? I got something. Wait. Beef jerky on the table. I didn't even see it. Then I got this little booger in this week, and that is at uh, Defiant Designs by Greg Stevens. Man, I'm really fond of this piece because he sent me this piece personally. He reached out to me and said, man, why ain't you bought one yet? I said, dude, I'll get to it. He said, better yet, I'm just going to send you one. So mad love to Greg Stevens over there. Greatly appreciate that. And love the fact that he said, thank you. I'm going to do it anyway. It's my design. I'm going to release it with my own damn name on it. So. Mad love to him on that one. And he sent me the brushed 
So I'm really fond of it. Oh, shit. Making a mess over here. Inside of that, I'm rocking that silverback. Bobo. Then, you know, I do not leave the house without my little old CKS stride with the VLS up top, I believe. That's AKA Lucid Killer. Oh. <laughs> Fired. Inside of you're it, you're muted the rest of the I night. You're fired. <laughs> that lemon berries by Transistor E Liquid. Damn good juice right there. Love those guys over there. Mist Hub. Shout out to them. United Society of Vapes. The Arc 240 Watt. This is a version two. I'm not going to show too much of it because I just shot a video on it today. Just didn't get a chance to put it up. I did it in my truck too. It's called Reviews from the Work Truck. <laughs> while sitting in the mud for I don't know four and a half hours something like that on top of it I got the Nudge 22 and it I got Lemonon lemonon, pretty good shit I guess you want to call it I don't know what you want to how you pronounce it juices should be labeled easy shit to read shouldn't be no Greek type shit or some combination of words I and really then again, I got my other ARC 240 watt mod Sitting on top of that is the Wotofo Bravo, and inside of it, I got, bam, Adore E-Liquids, Lemon Ecstasy, love that stuff. And that's it, guys. And in all reality, I'm vaping like half of that shit. I'm not going to vape all that. I just did that because everybody else always does it, so why not? It's usually me, frankly. <laughs> I usually am the one that's got like, all right, today I've got like 12 setups. <laughs> Let's take 15 minutes. <laughs> I oh, what am I drinking on? Yeah, yes, what I guess are you I, drinking? I am drinking Dos Equis. Dos Equis. Dos Equis. The guy just said, you know what? I really wasn't even going to drink. I was just going to do it lightweight today. Long ass day at work. But we stopped at the store on the way home. We said, you know what? Why not grab a little 12 pack? I won't do a 24 tonight just because I'm going to remain civil even during the after show. So, you guys, thank you, Joel. You guys are... No, thank you, Stan. Stan, you're the man. Thank you, Stan. You guys are lighting chat up. Um, <laughs> and I want to say hey to everybody, but, dude, there's so many people in here. You guys rock. I Everybody, thank you so much. Um, I'm not going to do individual shout-outs because we're going to get to y'all's chat stuff. Y'all are doing awesome. Y'all are cool as, cool as shit. And, also... Uh, What's up? We have 180 people watching and only 76 likes. So I think that more of you guys need to go hit that like button. You guys hit that like button. You know, Please. if we match likes to watchers, we do a giveaway. Mr. Panda, I would just like to verify. I'm sorry. I wasn't going to do shout outs, but I would just like to verify. Uh, Mr. Panda said something that is not true. We do not sell banana hammocks on lucidrda.com. Mm -hmm. Sounds like something so, we should be doing. Let's jump in. There's guys. a lot of stuff they don't sell on lucidrda.com. Would you like to go down that list? Like man thongs and g-strings, according to Mr. Panda as well. Yes, we, we don't <laughs> Mr. sell. Panda, if you need man thongs or g-strings, give me a holler, man. I know a shop to the hey, 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 hey. We may Panda or may out. not have photos of Demo in man thongs and g-strings <laughs> oh, for sale God. on lucidrda.com. What did you do to me while I was sleeping? Um, I do have video. He was sleeping but that, smiling in his way, sleep. That I'm gonna hold After over show. <laughs> Um, uh, sh should we explain the the chicken arms joke real quick? Yeah, explain to the chicken arms because I know Mike got really confused at it. <laughs> All right. Well, we have a lot of <clears throat> excuse me. We have a lot of funny little like memes here on on the show, and we have some excellent photoshoppers in the room right now. So uh, a lot of them. We were, we do a weekly <laughs> yeah we do a weekly thing where we we have a question. It's this or that question. So would you rather this or that? And uh, I, I had the last week's uh, one, which was, would you rather fight one horse-sized duck or a hundred duck-sized horses? And in Stan's answer, no, nope, wasn't my answer. Whose answer was it? It was Mikey's. Oh, it was Mikey's answer. He he mentioned they have little tiny chicken arms, <laughs> and like just in passing, it we let it go for like a, a full minute, and then I thought of it. I'm like, chicken arms, <laughs> like. What? <laughs> so now any pizza place or chicken wing place, if you use code hashtag chicken arms or hashtag hungry demo, you get either a free dessert or 20% no, no, no. off. No, no, no. Hungry demo 20. Hungry and, demo yeah. 20. I'm place sorry. Across yes. the entire United States. Yes. Play for off your order. Yes. And uh, it's a risk. If but if you, you do the hungry demo dance for them, you might get a full free meal. So or, uh, as they might just lock your ass up in the mental asylum, too. As Nick Bissett promised last week, if you can get Hungry Demo 20 to work at a pizza shop, 
somewhere for any reason, he will pay for your pizza. Why'd you have to remind ah, him? Ah, he will. Because I, 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 I want someone video. to make it work. I really do. I, All I, right. actually have, I actually have a friend that works uh, for Domino's in their corporate office. We might be able to make that happen. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> dude, if you made that happen, Heavy. I, oh I, man, I, dude! I will I buy one forever. pizza. I will send you <laughs> all of the coils if you if you make that happen. Hungry Demo. If there's a commercial that says Hungry Demo twenty for twenty percent oh, off, dude, that would be fucking hilarious. I would someone, literally someone make a dub. Can someone make a dub of a Domino's commercial with that? <laughs> Absolutely, crap my pants. Like use right. code Hungry Demo twenty. Yeah. Check out. <laughs> exactly. All right, guys, we're gonna stop about talking about being hungry. Damn it, y'all gonna make me want to go eat something. I don't want to eat something. I want to talk about some vape shit. So what's good on the agenda today? On the agenda today, first off and foremost, the FDA comment period as well as the survey. You guys should go check it out. Um, I dang it, I not did. should. You better go check it out. If you vape and you don't go do that, then mm. all right, we're gonna be a little less aggressive about it. <laughs> but, I told a woman at the Home Depot today when I was buying a new drill. She, uh, I had my vape in my hand, and she mentioned that she vaped, and I. Told her, excuse me, told her about the FDA comment period and uh, that survey. And she was like, oh, I'm going to go do it. So absolutely. Absolutely. If you guys are watching this show on a computer and you have your phone handy, you can actually text. Hold on. I'm pulling it up right now. You can text CASA flavors to 52886 and they will respond with a link and you can take it right there on your phone while you're watching vape stew. It's easy That's, as pie. Um that's Kassaw Flavors to five. Well, I don't remember the number. <laughs> <laughs> Kassaw nice Flavors yeah. to 52886. Text now. Standard data and messaging rates apply. There you go. <laughs> All right. So we, right. man, okay, look, we've ignored our guests long enough. We, we take way too long screwing around getting into this stuff, but I'm excited that Heavy's here. I'm excited that Mike's here. Um, we have some stuff to talk about, but we're going to hold off a little bit. Let's talk about what you guys want to talk about. Is there anything you guys want to get into? Mike, do you have anything you want to maybe talk about that's like <laughs> maybe itching people's ears or heads? Yeah, Mike, let's talk about the new RDA. Ah! <laughs> what Just RDA? Straight out. I don't know. What are you guys talking maybe, about? Maybe the one you mentioned in your buffet. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Maybe the one that, like, I don't know, all of us have been pimping. Like Instagramming and Facebooking and shit like that. Mm-hmm. 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 Yes. Uh, I'm excited. About this I'm movie. excited for you. Shit, I'm excited for the vape community. I'm excited for vapors worldwide, man. Like, <laughs> yep. hand fucking down. That thing is out of here. Yeah, he vaped it. Yes, I vaped it. And he thought I was bullshit on Instagram. I can't, I can't blame the guy though. He didn't know who the hell I was. Like, who the hell is this jack off over here trolling me? He's talking about he's vaping my RDA. Shit, I only got one myself. <laughs> so what's the rundown on the RDA? It's I good. Not, I haven't released the build deck yet, pictures on the build deck. But cool. uh, the RDA itself, it's got curves, man. It's a curvy RDA. Where is it? I lost the hair. You know what I told him it looks Ooh. like? The... Um, the the cap reminds me of the Modfather cap from AV. Yes. Yeah. Sir. Yeah. Yep. Which, by the way, is a very well designed cap. You know, as far as uh, the the contours of it look good. Um, it allows for really good airflow. I I think it's a great design. So basically, I have a question for yes. you on this because everybody's seen it. I have a question for you. On it. What made you want to change? from your typical iconic icon style airflow designs what made mike vape say you know what those two have been done let's move forward with something different and theon <laughs> oh. b2k i've been vaping a lot of single coils you know on uh mech squonkers and i've been enjoying them so what are you I trying think to tell us majority of the time that's what i've been using is single coil and this one too the gr1 is another one i got that rda just the other day that thing is fucking awesome like Which, uh, gr1 right the gr1 yeah huh? I, I was like no one's talking about this and well, at the time that i got it anyway it was like no one is talking about this at least not that i've seen and uh it's a it's an awesome rda yeah i got a like, lot of I, views think, I think so on that. Yeah, i got a lot of views on that video so basically yeah so that's why i want to do a single coil <laughs> dual coil ones want to do a single um 
and the concept came from the squonker, you know, because the squonker has curves. That's all I'm saying about the squonker. That's coming out too. So the RDA obviously is going to basically complement the squonker. You know, it's got curves. And the uh, build deck on here. Uh, one thing I can say about the build deck is, even though it is a 24 millimeter, the build deck is actually a 22 millimeters build deck. That's oh, in there. Nice. Yes. So everything, even though it is 24. Everything is compressed inside there. It's a flavor machine. That's good. I, that, I need that in my life. That's one of the things that I liked about the original recoil is that it was 24 millimeter, but everything in the inside was so small that you just got great flavor. Yeah. Yeah, I've been so I know people were asking about release date, uh, reviews. You're going to start seeing pictures next week of it all over social media. Uh, videos will probably be... You know, maybe even next week by some people. Uh, I'll probably have a video up right away as soon as I get it, just introducing it. And uh, usually, what is it? Usually two or three weeks later, they release them. Yeah, 20, 20 days, 22 Something days. Something like that. So, so you figure uh, in three weeks, probably, right? ECC Detroit. What's that? Uh, what's the next one? Is it ECC Detroit or Midwest? What is before uh, showcase? What which one's before showcase? Midwest is in, uh, on the twenty first. I want to say and ECC Detroit is next weekend, yeah. which I'm going to try okay, to. No, it's not going to be that one. It's probably going to be the Midwest. I think will be a, a nice estimate for a release date. You're going to try to be in Detroit, Demo. Yeah, that's that's the plan. Um, my cousin just passed away, so. Uh, sort of unexpectedly, so I'm kind of just waiting to hear when that memorial service is going to be. So if that's next weekend, then I will not be at ECC Detroit, but um, hopefully it's a couple weeks out. Yeah. Okay. Uh, another thing I wanted to answer, uh, a few people have asked, uh, Wotofo or Wotofo, <laughs> they're the ones that are uh, manufacturing it. And uh, in uh, May 2nd, I think it is, in Birmingham, UK, I'm going to be actually at the booth in the UK. That's hey. where the actual release hey. in the uk we'll be there too man yep sweet let's get who's a beer going, who's going here me oh, nice see. nice Burning i'm here, actually right? going to showcase to, to the waterfall booth that showcase to represent waterfall there it's gonna Are be my gonna first be show showcase? i'm going yeah i'm going to showcase for waterfall to represent them myself and aaron hart the designer of the bravo nice. Uh, they requested we go make our presence felt. I said, absolutely. <laughs> Why not? There is a question in chat from Mr. Chris Snyder, and I'm just curious. I don't think I would have put it this way, but he says, uh, Mike Vapes, why would you jump ship from Vanny Vape and go to Wotafo? Uh, I think it was just about time. I already did two projects with them, and uh, I actually was going to present a, a project with them, but when I ran into uh, Wotafo Leon, in Miami, it was just a perfect opportunity. He actually said to me, you guys, you want to work together? And I had the whole idea, everything that what I want to do. And I told him, yeah, you know what? This is perfect. You're here right now. Let's talk about it. And we sat right in the middle of the convention. I think we were right next to the sense, the sense booth. I can't remember where we were. There was some tables and chairs right in the center. We just sat there and talked for like a couple hours. Were all the that. guys from sense like this? No, they weren't even paying attention. <laughs> Michael Zing's a good dude over at Sense, man. He's got his yeah. he's on his own lane right now. He's got his own vision set out. Michael Zing is that's one guy I actually respect because he's one of the China guys that doesn't ask me what the other China guys are doing. Yeah, he's a good guy. <laughs> Michael also he'll sit there and if you have any advice, anything to tell him about something that's coming out, he takes it and he'll make the changes too. You know, he did it with that mod. What was the one that he they released the um, the V Jet? Yeah, the V-Jet. The V-Jet. Yeah, that mod had some issues. when It, it was during Miami where they actually presented it. And I had told them, I'm like, uh, myself and Brian, the Vapor Chronicles, were together. We sat there and told them, well, you, gotta, you need to change this, this, and this before you go and manufacture this and release it. And they made the changes. They that was actually a really good mod. Yeah. And it didn't get a lot of, uh, it wasn't big, you know? Yeah. Didn't get, and even from the video when I did it, didn't get a lot of views, but it's an awesome mod. Well, and then they shit the bed with that new one they've got with the, uh, the flashlight on top. The light show, man. <laughs> well, I'm glad I set that one to the side. Hell, I had that one for my buffet. I'm glad I didn't pull it out. <laughs> right here. I'm not kidding you. I did. I had it for my buffet. I was like, yeah. you know what? Better not. <laughs> well, anyway, I just, so one more thing I wanted to state about with the Vandy Vape thing. There was no fight or anything happening because people think that I got into a fight with them. 
There's no fight <laughs> Ooh, with drama. Yeah, it's not like no it's drama, like... nothing. <laughs> I, I just basically decided, you know what? I just want to work with another company. Why not? I'm right. working with so uh, what's over right now, and I'm actually talking with another company. Actually, two other companies working on two other projects that are going on. So I'm not just staying with one company. I'm going to jump around, try everybody out. You know, give the love to everybody. Most people don't sign any sort of exclusivity contract or anything. So yeah. I, think, I, think, I think that people think that like when a reviewer puts out a product with a company, that means that like now they're working with that company, right? You know, and it's not, that's not no. the case. Nine, nine times out of 10, at least what I've, what I've heard. Yep. Well, right. the only thing I think would be logical is to say, you know, a time limit to say, okay, well, while I'm working with this company and this product's release, we, I won't release anything for this time period to allow the sales so they can get their money back on it. And it's just good business practices, man. I mean, uh, a lot of that goes on of working with this company, working with this company, but typically it's while this product's released, you're developing your next product, yeah. you know, and working out all the <laughs> tweaks and gimmicks and all that other good but, stuff. There's nothing wrong you, with it. But if you think about it, Vandy Vape does that themselves to themselves. Yes, <laughs> think, just, right. Yeah. It makes fucking no sense. It's like my RDA comes out, and then a week later, there's another RDA coming out. So it's like you're releasing to compete against your own company. Yeah, well, they put they put, their, they put the iconic and the Bonza right on top of each other. Yeah, actually, yeah. The, the iconic, the iconic was supposed to release the same time as the Bonza, and I told them, "What are you guys crazy? First of all, you do that, then." Uh, What's his name? Uh, Sam vaping Bogan is gonna get pissed at me thinking that I'm trying to like big boy him. You know what I'm saying? I thought, no, I don't want to do that to anybody. I don't want to release this thing. He had no clue. Meanwhile, I knew about it, and I'm like, no, this can't happen. So I kept on delaying it, delaying it. It naturally like, cuts your sales. There's no sense in it. It just doesn't make sense the way they operate. The only fun. person who wins from that is Vandy Vape. You know, yeah. like, like well, the consumer wins too because the consumer has options and multiple well, options. Sure, but I mean, you know, like that that too. But I mean, at the end of the day, I don't think it's a sin for someone who's you know working a business to try to protect their profits. You know, and as long as it's not like an unethical situation. You know, like there's plenty of options out there, man. Like, and also, also if you look at the iconic and the Bonza, they're two totally different pieces. That's about yeah. my next thing. They're they're yeah, they not released- even. They released the phobia like what? Oh, not even ten days later. Yeah, and that's you got two bottom airflow RDAs being released at the same time, basically. So it just didn't make sense. So those those were some of the reasons why I don't want to work with them no more. You know. So Mike, I have a question for you. Actually, uh, does this mean you're you're done with Vandy Vape, or are you just going to come back to them when you're ready? No, or? I'm, pro- I'm probably done. There's other companies to work with. You know, I'm not planning on doing too many. I probably have I have uh, this project with uh, what's all for right now, two other projects, and uh, with one of the companies, there's going to be lots of stuff coming from them and Ooh. different stuff, and uh, I might just stop there. You know, there's no reason. That, it's hard to come up with ideas, man. <laughs> Trust me, I said right now, everything that you've you could think of. You look at the build decks you got coming on now. Look at the uh, Geek Vape, the W build deck. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So right. there's, there's, there's Someone line. drew a line on a piece of paper and was like, we can make that a build deck. Yeah. Someone, someone was playing like a Mario game, saw Wario, and was like, hey, let's make a W. Yeah. <laughs> How many more different ways can you make a build deck? Like, uh, I just, I just want to know sometimes what the inspiration for some of these things is. Like, where where they got it? You know, like because you're probably right, Nick. It's like, it's probably just... Someone was like drew a W and was like, we could make a build deck out of that, you know, like, uh, like, and it's just like, come on. Like who was the like, first person that thought vaping mesh would be a great idea? I don't know, and but I owe that person. It sounds like actually buy. a pretty good idea. To well, be honest, it is with the sub on tank. Yeah, I was fixing to say the, oh, yeah. the two sub on tanks yep. that I've used, uh, the fire loop mesh and the Falcon are fucking fantastic. I would agree with that. I've never had a rebuildable mesh experience that I've liked, but in sub on tanks, now, granted, I never tried the vape fly one or whichever one you were saying is good, Nick. But Dude, that I, one's fire. I tried it. Yes, the vape fly is really good. And Mike Heavy, I talked to uh, the Vapor Chronicles, Brian, one time after our chat. He got chimed in with me and Stan, our very first vape stew episode. Uh, he chimed in afterwards, and we talked for a couple of hours. And man, the mesh is new it's very very new so the rda aspect of it it's going to take a lot of tinkering with and a lot of playing with i mean we didn't get to the points where we're with rdas now 
by just perfecting it right out the box. It took a long time to start understanding how things are going. I didn't have great experience with the Digi Flavor Mesh thing, but I loved it. I kept, I wanted it to work so damn bad. I tried it, everything. It actually does work. It does, works, but you it know, does kinks I actually too. Sat, do things. I sat and thought about it because I had done the review for the Vandy Vape Mesh RDA first. And uh, I vaped that in stainless steel mode. That's why I was vaping because I was afraid to dry it because I sat and watched Brian and Fagan dry hitting and coughing their lungs off, you know, with that mesh. So when I got the the one from Digi Flavor, I said I thought to myself, "There's got to be a way to perfect this." And I figured it out in the video. I actually showed it, and I was hitting it, and I was I couldn't get it to dry hit. The cotton that's inside there has to be fucking packed. Oh yeah, gotta make sure there's cotton inside there. And then you roll the mesh over the cotton. You can't put the cotton in through. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? So I, I got it to work by putting it through, but only pulling it through and then shoving the remainder back underneath. But yeah. Mike, I will say your cotton method for the mesh RDAs definitely changed the game up for me personally. When I uh, when I started building on them, they could still scare the hell out of me. Um, but when I started <clears throat> started messing with them, I actually build the I don't put the mesh in first. I actually lay the cotton down and roll a mesh around it yeah, so that it is yeah. that tight and then crank it down guys did any of you get the cedo rda from cthulhu yes i, I did oh, i did not like the design shit. of that at all because there's no way it's open on one side there's no way you're going to get the so that airflow was crap. horrible on that day. oh dude i remember Maybe. the first okay i took off of it just like you know like, <laughs> i was vaping it and the dog was fucking going crazy next door yeah i'm gonna spill the beans on that one there with the mesh on it with being open on one side try this mike and heavy if either one of you still have it and did not throw it in the trash can put one layer of mesh on one side put some cotton put another layer of mesh on the other side and tighten that shit down and vape it and i'm telling you it changes everything like a little cotton sandwich yes it changes Every like a mesh, like a the mesh is the bread, though. Yes, <laughs> that's why some of them tank mesh coils work, work so good. <laughs> it's just compressed with cotton on there, you know. Yes, but I did that, it. guys, and I'm telling you, I actually enjoyed the, the mod. I because I tried and tried and tried and tried and tried and tried again. Once I'd done that, and I shared that with Brian on sandwiching the cotton between mesh and making it tight, like overloading it, and making it tight. Dude, yeah. it changes everything about it, especially with that squonk pin going up through the cotton in the middle. It's perfect. I mean, it's like a wonderful, wonderful vape. Yeah, if now, you do anything, try it. Now, RTAs is a little bit of a different story with mesh. That's, that's Dan's got one. This one right here, I've been working with it. I can get it to vape good. Like, I was determined to make this damn thing vape good. And uh, I got it to work. But it's just—I didn't do a I've review gotten, on it. It's just too much of a hassle. Man. I've gotten—I've gotten a few RTAs like that, and I'm like, nope, sorry to the company. I just don't <laughs> want the headache. I don't want to deal with it. Yeah. I do not yeah. want to fucking dry hit this. I got it, the mesh RTA, and it took me uh, four times rewicking it to get it to not either dry hit or leak, uh, or like gurgle anyway. And uh, Brett from the Cloudy Vapor sent me a bunch of them for my 1,000 sub giveaway, and. Uh, I put them in the packages and I was like, Oh, I'm sorry guys. <laughs> well, see that that's what I look at the most, like trying to get excited about new shit is, is it worth the extra steps that I have to do to make it perform right? Is it worth it to go away from my Bravo tank? Nope. Dude, I put, I put some wraps aliens in here, put some cotton through it and it fucking vapes like a champ. There's, what why do i need to go to 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 mesh as a, a heating element i don't right i don't because what i have works yes but what, what from my particular standpoint what i liked about mesh and welcomed with mesh is the challenging aspect i'm that guy that wants to find that solution so from the other side of the spectrum i'm the guy that says fuck yes it don't work how can i make it work what can I do to make this right? And then sell that to somebody. I'm like, okay, it's payday. Let's make this happen. <laughs> right, but that's that's the difference between somebody that's working in the industry or like the hobbyist side 
as opposed to the consumer that just wants to vape. You know what I'm saying? Right. Right. So, and I mean, like for me, you know, like I spend the time to build these complicated coils, you know, I'm, I started doing building, right? Like that was, that was my thing. So if I, my, basically my thing is, is that if I can take 10 minutes to do a fuse Clapton uh, and it doesn't vape better than that, then nah, I'm not interested. The other thing is doing a video on mesh, a build like an RTA or RDA. Yeah. What I'm afraid is, and that's why I don't really want to do them anymore. I'm afraid that somebody that watches my channel be like, you know what? I'm going to try that. And maybe they've never built before. And that's their first. And they go and hit that and they dry hit. They're going to come after me. You know, <laughs> what the fuck was that? You know what I'm saying? So You're going to get a I medical have, bill for a burnt throat. Right. Burnt yeah. There you go. <laughs> I would have massive disclaimers on any mesh product. Like this is uh, not for a new person, not for a beginner. Well, most yeah, RDAs. When I get an email, email and there's mesh involved and it's like an RTA, RDA, I just ignore it. Nope. Throw it them to me, Mike. Let me know, man. Because yeah. I, I welcome the challenge. I do, man. And mesh is something that, again, it's new. So once it gets perfected, I think we're yeah. going to be on point. The biggest problem I have with it is when you cut the shit and say this is your mesh, you cut it, you got some this link, some that link, some this link. The ends being crimped together, like same thing in the sub ohm tanks, is what makes those work. How about have idea? Of, instead of selling the sheet of mesh, having it already wrapped with the yes. stick inside there, and it's got a little piece together that you could just take that piece and just stick it in there and stick clamp it in it there, and clamp it down, and you're good to go. Yeah. And for anyone that doesn't know, I actually did a build with mesh in an unconventional way. Uh, I called I it the that. Kevlar coil. It's basically folded mesh, mesh folded over itself twice, and then wrapped into a coil. And it actually worked, and it worked pretty good, surprisingly. I tried to make a staggered, like a staggered staple coil type of vape with a piece of mesh on the interior, like a little folded up piece of mesh as the as the core. Didn't work. I, I was never I was never able to get it to not like twist and fold over on itself. But. I'm still messing with the mesh idea, so I'm not done with that yet. Just saying. It's my baby right now. I've welcomed it. I love it. It's my uh, baby. It's my project. Uh, heavy. You're known for blowing these massive damn clouds, brother. What is your go-to build for an RDA that you're just going to throw the shit out there, man? Because, dude, I'm not going to lie. I'm a, I got a pussy lungs or something you want to call it, whatever, because I don't do them yeah, massive we'll clouds, that. brother. We'll call it <laughs> that. Like, nobody asked. Um, <laughs> try core fuse claptons. Well, it depends on, uh, it depends. Are we talking parallel? Or are we talking single 18, 650? Or are we talking stack? Just your, your basic, your, your two a tube uh, a tube guy right so what's your tube your basic single my, 52 build my preferred build is uh matter of fact i can show you these uh, wraps glenn bivens is a uh, a friend of mine and uh he makes these comp aliens okay. and the uh the specs on these are three by 26 by 38 uh Four wraps. They come in at 0 .08. Uh, Four wraps on a three millimeter. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, they they're all in ninety, so they ramp up like that. Uh, in here, in the stack, I have some eight wrap, two and a half millimeter triple twenty nine. Uh, triple 2940 JB coils uh, that he built specifically for this stack in Foxwoods. And uh, it trucks, man. It hits fucking hard. Um, what's the resistance on them? I didn't hear the resistance. Uh, two six. Uh, oh, ooh. Ooh, that's low for a stack. Don't, uh, don't any, we don't recommend anybody run that low on a 8.4 volt build. Heavy, if you know heavy's, what? A, heavy's a professional you know, i had that i had that same that same kind of mentality right is like you always hear when you're running series you do point four, uh and that's that's kind of where you start the reality of the situation is uh i, I talked to mooch one night we had him on the show and uh mooch you know the way i understood it was and he may not have said this i don't know i know he's in chat but uh, running a point two, we'll, we'll say a point two eight, just to keep the numbers round, 
But running a point two eight on a stack does not offer you any more amp draw than a point one three on a single mech, like on a, on a single battery tube. So it, as far as amperage goes, it's completely safe. But right. It's not safe. Right. Yeah, it's mean, just it's, hot as fuck, and a lot of people aren't that insane. <laughs> right. I mean, so, you're a fire breathing dragon because there's no way in the hell I'm going to make anything that out. I'm sorry. I'm glad I asked because I'm sure the viewers out there would want to know. And right. Mooch was actually in the chat, by the way. So he's in here somewhere. For me, it's basically if you're the more batteries you have going on, the more careful you got to be. Not, not in the sense that you got to be like, you know, building higher and higher, but. If you are super unsafe with more batteries, you're gonna have two explosions instead of one, you know? So it's like, and being at ECC Ontario and ha listening to a stacked tube, stacked 2700 tube blowing up, I you hate, know, 15, I feet, terms. 15 feet away. I really do. I don't know why it just bothers the hell out of me. Uh, what? Explosion and blowing up. I hate when people say like, no, I, I get it, and I'm not giving well, you a hard time. It did, though. It like, just... dude, it was, there were bits of metal all over the, the convention floor. It exploded. Like, that, you know, like, <laughs> you know. I know. The... Can somebody mute him? No, I'm just <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, listen, 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 listen. So, so back uh, a while ago, when the Noisy Cricket first came out, I decided to do a build video on it, and it was called Safe Build Friday. And I built it at 0.45, and I said, you guys need to be careful. You need to watch your, your safety factors, this and that. Someone commented in, in chat and uh, in the, the comments section, and they were like, oh, well, uh, Jabo said he rocks his at 0.25, so it's fine. No. And, right. It can so, be fine, but that doesn't mean that it's fine. But it's, it's kind of like a do as I say, not as I do situation. You know, like I'd rather preach safety and yeah. not have to deal with backlash than deal with backlash. Absolutely. Absolutely. But I, I'm not saying, listen, heavy, I'm not saying you're you're wrong in any sense of the word, but I'm just saying that we're professionals. We know what's safe. We know what's good and what's not. And we know the limits of our hardware, you know? Yeah. And if, if you're using a good battery, like if you're using stacked 25 Rs or something like that, or especially like from batteries from an irreputable vendor, then I would be way more worried than if you know what you're doing and you have the proper yeah. batteries and and let's be clear i'm not making that as a recommendation to anybody like i've done literally for the past two and a half three years uh when, when i i didn't really dig into it when i first started vaping but like when i when i started getting on youtube and i started having people you know just realizing how critical people are on the fucking internet right Number one, in order for me to keep my skin intact, uh, because I've, I've got rather thick skin, but once you get to me, it's, it's pretty much over. But to keep my skin intact, I figured if I'm going to do this and I'm going to make a go at it, I better learn the right fucking things to say. Because if you say something wrong, people will hammer your ass to the fucking cross and hang you out to dry. So uh, that's why I think, communities like this where we have experts that we can go to and say okay mooch here's the deal i want to run this is this gonna you know is this gonna cause me any problems and a lot of it was you know r d for myself you know it was just okay i'm i'm running a point four and nothing's happening okay i'm running a point three and nothing's happening okay a two five and that's that's too hot so let's go up a little bit somewhere in between point two five and point three and you land at a 0.28 and that's, you know, it is what it is. But I've done that at my own risk. You know, I've gained all of this knowledge with that, that seed planted in the back of my head that this could go terribly wrong. Right. And that's something people need to understand. You don't just go, oh, well, this person said they did this, right. so I'm going to do this. That's, that, right. that's safe. That's not how it Look, works. At the um, end of the day, take responsibility for your builds, right? If, if yeah. you build super low and it blows up in your face or vents or whatever, you know, whatever, you are responsible for that, right? Yeah. And, you know, if, if, if the news, say, you, say it happened at like a store, right? And the news came around, you better damn be sure 
that you're saying my fault. I totally did this wrong. You know, like, like it's, it's my problem. Take responsibility. Don't, don't don't be blaming anybody else. Yeah. There's look, I don't blame, uh, I don't blame the tire, the fucking tire company when my car goes off the road when it's raining and I'm doing 120 miles an hour. It's not the tire company's fault. They're not meant to do that. Um, we've, exactly. we've gone over a whole so bunch of batteries. Basically stuff. just look at, you know, watch a bunch of videos and learn all about your batteries and about your, your safety factors and all that. And just make sure you're doing the right thing. Don't do stupid shit. <laughs> you know what, can, you know what else can be unsafe sometimes? Clones. Oh, you <laughs> you <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> yeah. oh, you're right about that. Yeah, you're good. I just find the right moment. <laughs> we are getting so tonight's topic, we're going to talk about clone juice. Juice has been cloned by another company. No, <laughs> no, we're not talking about clone juice. What we are talking about is this clone software. I got an issue with. There's a freezing happening here. Hopefully, I don't see it on your end. Our topic for tonight um, is clones. Is clones. And here's the deal, okay? We're going to get people probably a little fired up with this conversation. Um, that's okay. Did I cut anybody off, by the way? I, I didn't mean to cut. Yes, you cut everybody off. It's all right. Heavy metal, heavy metal, if you weren't done, keep, keep going. Sorry. I found, no, I, I found my opportunity. He probably won't be coming back. He's going to say, fuck it. <laughs> he he cut me off. He interrupted me. <laughs> no, man. No. All right. So, basically... Hold on one second here. Let me fix this right here. Let me close. Uh oh. Justin Morrell said, "Didn't you just give me the Stitch clone stand?" Oh what? yeah. Oh. I, look, and that's what we're gonna discuss right now. We're gonna discuss some freaking ah, topics. Damn, it. Here. damn it's hot in here. So <laughs> hold on. I'm running. Uh, I'm running some stuff real quick. There's a there's an issue with the stream here for some reason. Not on my end. Yeah, I'm seeing it, and some people said that some issues, but it seems to be oh, running. Oh, now I'm frozen. No, you're no, fine. Everything's good. good. Okay, I got it fixed. So here's the deal. Um, Basically, I'm curious, okay? Now, just, okay, I'm going to preface with my stance here on clones, and we'll talk a little bit about what your stance may be. Um, I want to know exactly what constitutes a clone? I want to know what constitutes a clone, where the line is drawn to actually making a different RDA. Um, I, yeah, we're going to talk about it, Joel. Okay. And we're going to do it calm, cool, and collectively. We're <laughs> Not going to happen. It never happens. Do you just want me to mute my no. mic now? No, or you're, good. Mic? you're good. You're good. <laughs> where, do, so, where do you want me to mute my mic? Because you know this is not going to go well. So look, if you go back and you watch any of my older videos, I used to rock clones. Um, I still have some. I have no problem with a nice one-to-one -one clone, except for the fact that it takes money from the people. Like, who... like your overpowered mod. Oh. Okay. See, Demo. That's where we're getting. That's okay. You're getting ahead of me. All right. Now, with a clone, okay, a one to one, you say something is a lucid styled RDA. Okay. Dan, with you're frozen. What? Did he freeze? Frozen. Oh, oh there you are. Everybody. Hashtag. Yeah, shit's going up and down. Concern stand. Oh, um. Okay, so a clone to me is something that is an exact copy, all right? Yes. And an exact copy is a clone, and not everybody can afford a $100 RDA, so I understand why they exist, and I understand why they're never going away, all right? When, the, when I found out the Lucid was cloned, the only reason why I said anything bad about the clone was because it wasn't a good clone. It was, uh, it was a copy from photos. It, half of the damn thing isn't even right. If it was a one-to-one -one clone, I wouldn't have shit to say about it, and I'm being dead serious about it. Um, now, with the Dreamer thing, when Dreamer started being sold on 3F Vape and we didn't know if they were cloned or not, if they came out and said they were clones, I wouldn't have said nothing about it. But I didn't want people going and thinking they were buying authentic Dreamers and getting shafted when the ding website said authentic. I still don't know if they were authentic or not. And I never said a bad thing about it. I just said, look, you're taking a gamble. Okay, and that's that's all I said, and that's where I stand. Um, with these things that are coming out on the market, where maybe one deck is like another deck, or 
one thing is like another thing. However, there's slight differences. I want to know where the line is drawn and I want to know y'all's opinions on it. Um, and then I want to kind of have a conversation based on that. Like, what do you guys think about that? Like, where do you have an opinion on where the line might be drawn? Um, okay. if, if it's okay for somebody to take a, an existing deck and make a change to it to create a different company's so RDA. What I'm hearing from you right now is you're talking about like the Equitas. I'm not it? talking about anything in specific. <laughs> so that's, that's, that's the one that's out the most recently that people are like, no, it's the same as, you know. There's one, well, there's no one a little. A lot of shit for that. You there's know, one a little I'll closer agree. than that currently out on the market. Let's, let's let the uh, two guest members give both of their yeah. opinions in full detail and then we'll all chime in afterwards. That's I'm exactly actually going go like to go about this. I would like to go about it. Is possible. And I'm going to respect everybody's opinion and likewise to each of us, please. Uh, heavy take it, brother, because I've seen you ready to bite at the chumps, man. Okay. <laughs> so uh, when did the when did the Kennedy come out? The Kennedy came out, what, two and a half, three years ago, right? It's It's been out a long time. Yeah. Well, when, when the Kennedy came out, uh, there were a bunch of fucking clones running around. They were cheap. They were one-to-one. They were using the word Kennedy. They had USA scrolled across the fucking bottom of them. They even put serial numbers on them. <laughs> those I have a massive, massive problem with. Fuck those guys for making that one to one using the name, using the the everything. The Dishonest screws are problem. Yeah, the post screws were the same. Now, at the same time, there was a little known company that came out with an RDA called the Fishbone. Right. Yes, I remember it that. was a one-to-one -one clone of the deck with a glass top cap on it. That was the only difference is there was a glass top cap and on the bottom, there was no uh, Kennedy. There was no USA. There was no, it just said fishbone and had a fucking number on it. that. I don't have a problem with because if you're taking uh, an idea, right, they didn't change anything as far as the deck goes. But they also did not call it a Kennedy. They called it something else. They made a minor change in the top cap, and that was it. I don't think that's a clone. I think that's inspired by, heavily inspired by, I'll agree to that, but not a clone, right? A clone to me is if I take a Dodge Charger and I put a Ferrari badge on it, it doesn't make it a fucking Ferrari. Right. So that Kennedy, just because it has Kennedy's name on it, does not make it a fucking Kennedy. Right. Right. The point that we're at now, there's even less of a reason to buy a clone because the shit coming out of China that's dirt cheap as it is, is just as fucking good. So Sometimes basically, better. Sorry. Basically, what you're telling me is that the line you drew with the Kennedy situation was they had their own logo they had their own name and they had a slight change to the the rda itself being the cat yeah. okay what about you mike um i basically feel the same way heavy does on this topic you know one-to-one -one clone and a lot of people like for we'll give a good example is uh the rda the one that you have the yelp, yelp. okay like that's technically not a clone in my eyes, I but agree. there's a heavy, heavy resemblance to the dead rabbit. Absolutely. With a couple of tweaks. Uh, that one there, I could see where people that are fans of heathen, people that have the dead rabbit, they're going to speak out. And they're going to say what they have to say about it. Yes. You know, and when people review it, but that's not technically a clone. A clone is one to one identical. That's what a clone means. Yeah. Uh, if these co companies in China want to make clones of stuff, don't name it. That's another thing that I agree with them. Like with the Kennedys, they should have just named it a different name. Yeah, oh, because, not made in the USA. We know it's not made in the USA. You know, yeah, call, it, it, call it the Eisenhower. You know what? This is because I'll give you the perfect example: is mm -hmm. that people see that and they'll buy the clone, and then when they have an issue with the clone, they'll go on social media and blame the company like let's say now for example right. someone bought uh an apocalypse that's a clone they don't know it's a clone 
Some people just do, are oblivious. They don't know. They go. They see three I vape. They go on there. Oh, I'm buying it. Look, look at this. Ten dollars for an apocalypse. That's a fucking awesome deal. They buy it. It's a piece of junk. Who are they going to complain to? Facebook. Armageddon. <laughs> yep. Facebook. <laughs> Armageddon. Armageddon has gotten messages about people complaining about their clones. It's a clone. Mm-hmm. You know what? Uh, Steve Kennedy, actually, I, I spoke with Steve Kennedy a, a couple of years ago, and he's like, yeah, people keep sending me their clones for warranty repair. <laughs> and I know it's a clone. Obviously, it's so obvious. I just literally throw it away. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, that's one way, way to take he, care of it. The way he looks at it, you stole my intellectual property and you decided to buy my my stolen property, it gets thrown away. Uh-huh. And it's a slap in the face. If you think about it, it's a slap in the face to him if you send him a clone of his own device. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, how no. much stuff is that? Unless you I'll, don't know, right? You know, like, I'll say this. Come you on. should you should know. Come on. I'll say this. The okay, so there's stuff out there like the velocity. Right when the velocity first came out, and still to this fucking day, good luck finding one. Unless you have one, you're not. You're gonna find very, very few people who are willing to get rid of that. That was the most groundbreaking RDA ever made. Period. I don't think that's up for argument. The goon is the only one that could stand a chance. Uh, the but good luck finding one. So. Go turn into a clone is the only way 90% of people are ever going to get to try that design, right? That's that's as close as possible, right. but we're also not looking at things like, uh, I don't know, insert RDA here that had a fucking velocity deck two years ago. You know, we're not calling that a clone, it's inspired by the velocity deck, Hence it the has words velocity style. Yeah, exactly. Right. It has a it has a velocity deck. It's not a velocity clone. It's using the same uh, intellectual property, which would be the build deck, but it's not a one to one, and it's not claiming to be a velocity. So, how many times in videos did we say? <laughs> yeah, but, I, yeah. Right? but this RDA, yeah, yeah, it's got a velocity style. Oh, oh no, dude, we, still to this that day. was like. Every other RDA being reviewed. When I, so when I started vaping, I started, so I, I haven't been vaping for super long, right? I started vaping at the end of 2016, right? And when I started getting into rebuildables, that was just it. Like uh, it's velocity style this, velocity style that, velocity style yeah. that. You know, it was just, it was insane. I mean, you know, I would agree with all of you guys in terms of the clone thing, you know, it's a one-to-one clone that's designed to piggyback off the success of the authentic, Right. So at the end of the day, like the only time that I think clones are okay, because I think clones are absolute bullshit. And I understand that some people can't afford, well, eh, see in today's world, you can find these RDAs, the real authentics from Chinese companies for so inexpensive compared to the way it used to be that they're really, to me, there's no excuse, right? There's, no, there's, a clone, there's absolutely there's a clone no dead point rabbit. to clone a $20 RDA. There's just no right. point to dead rabbit though. Yeah. 10 bucks. Well, why though? Like, you know, like the dead rabbit is inexpensive, right? Like <laughs> if these were United States-based companies, there would be just lawsuits everywhere, right? But because China doesn't feel the same way, like a good story that I, that I heard was, you know, uh, a Chinese car company cl- cloned the BMW X5, right? And they put their own logos on it, but it looked exactly the same. Everything about it was almost exactly the same, right? BMW sued the company and the Chinese government said, well, we don't see this. We don't, we don't see any similarities, right? So there's just no, there's just no uh, way for us to- We don't see no similarity. There's no reason. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. That's right. Okay. (laughs) All right, guys. Um, You know, there's no way for, there's no recourse, right? If a United States based company puts out a thing and there's a clone, there's nothing we can do, right? So even though I don't think it's good, it's just a reality of the world we live in, right? Well, here's, here's my, my, okay. You brought my, you brought it up. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Joel's going to get muted before he says anything. <laughs> um, so Mike brought it up, the Yup RDA. Okay, this is what brought it up to me and all the stuff coming around. And I just started thinking about it. being, you know, a designer by nature and seeing this stuff and make like a t-shirt company 
and going like Nick Nick deals with the graphic stuff. Like you 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 get the whole IP theft thing like and then oh, everybody's time. so big on IP theft right now. There's lots of little stuff involved in all that that a lot of people don't understand. Okay? And to me, yes, the Yup RDA, it's got the top airflow in the same location as the damn Dead Rabbit. It has knurling around the top just like the Dead Rabbit and the Aquitas or Aquitas or whatever I don't even think uh, old uh, ambitions like he says that two ways too. Um, even the even the logo is shaped like the dead rabbit. You know what I'm saying? Like I get it. However, I think they did it better. And the reason why? Okay. Whoa! <laughs> Everybody freak out! No. I, I think the exhaust. There's, there's, there's a difference. There's a difference. The, the holes in the airflow, they make it smoother, in my opinion. The deck, the deck has the angle, the slight angle, and you can actually get in there and clip your leads a lot easier. I think those tiny two little changes make this a completely different RDA. Is it tasteless the way they did it? I think so. Um, you know, copy, like the box, everything. I, I think so. It's just, uh, I can't give them a hard time, though, because they made a different product. And they didn't call it the Dead Rabbit styled RDA or right. the Dead Rabbit at all. You know what I'm saying? Right. That's re- where that's a different situation. But for me personally, because I have a relationship with Billy, I do, no, I, I do too. I like the guy, and it's right. I wouldn't. Me personally, I wouldn't review it just out of respect for him. You know what I'm saying? I understand that. Even it's though like, it, it might be a better RDA. RDA. Well, yeah. it's the same reason you didn't see Mike. Uh, review the fucking uh, that thing from Cartel that the stole obelisk? the yeah. build it. Yeah. Okay, so here's my question then. So Billy came out with a thing that said the Equitas is not a clone. He's not copying all this kind of stuff. So then what's, I, I guess my question is why why wouldn't you review it then if even Billy said that it was fine? Well, that's well, that's different. That's or, that's his buddy's well, see, Billy, RDA Billy that he's saying is cool. okay on the Equitas. Yeah, that's a well, different story. It's... Oh, I thought you were talking about the Equitas saying that you wouldn't review it. No, no, I'm talking about the Yup. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. No, sorry. that was I... about the Yup. No, else? never mind. Sorry, my bad. I, yeah, I thought yeah. you were talking Joel about the came, or not Joel. Confused. Billy came out very, very uh, blatantly and obviously that he had a gotcha. problem with gotcha. the Yup. Sorry, that was my bad. I thought I was that's, confused. I thought you were talking about That's the why Billy was the first one to do a video on it, just to let everybody know I'm okay with this. Okay, cool. All right, with awesome. This, you know? Clear that up. Sorry. That was I, I want to hear what Joel has to say because he's over there breathing and huffing and puffing and I see it <laughs> boiling. No, I saw you. I saw you. What, what, what's up? What's up? Talk talk to us, Joel. Give us Man, a little bit. I, now look. The Yup RDA, I, the, it's no fucking secret. The Dead Rabbit is my favorite RDA of all time ever. Hands down. I swear to God. Is, I have like, I've bought in like eight of these fucking things. I love them. I love the SQs. It's my favorite RDA ever. The Yup came out and it just kind of like fine tuned the Dead Rabbit a little bit. The only problem I have with the Yup is the way they've done their packaging. The packaging was stupid. Whoever approved that needs to be fired. Fire that son of a bitch and send them on to, you know, make get him back on quality count or whatever the hell they want to call that stuff. Quantity count. Uh, quality the, count? Uh, no, it's quantity count. That's what oh. it is. There's no quality control. Get out of here. Oh, <laughs> uh, uh, the Aquitas, whatever may, however you want to pronounce that, man. I think, in all respect to the Dead Rabbit, how can you go after the Yup for the, the all the changes that are there? They're not much, but there's a few changes there. And not say that the Aquitas was a direct bite off of this and a direct bite off of this. It, that's like calling the, the pot calling the kettle black. Like you can't do that, man. I if you're going to hold one to one standard, you need to right. hold that standard across the board. Right. Friends or not friends, dude, you got to say, okay, look, bro, you really did just bite off my shit. But yeah. you know what? You're my friend. It's cool. Well, I'm going to run with you. We're going to endorse it. We're going to push it. But I'm going to tell you straight up, you bit off of me. And that's. That's okay. Well, that's you know, I'm going to allow that because you are my friend. That's why I brought it up. Where's the line? 
because the line is in the labeling. Well, you call no, the line clone, is, and you call it one the other one not a clone. So I'm and, and it's, well, like Heavy said, Heavy said with the naming, the naming is everything, you know. And and if there's enough like the yup, for example, being tilted up so you can clip your coils better, dude. I was hoping for a Dead Rabbit version two that had that in it because whenever I did the Dead Rabbit, I was like, damn it, if these were just bent up a little bit, you could clip your coils a little bit better. You can go back and watch that in my video whenever I did it. But you can't hold one company to a set of standards and not another because that's, oh, that's my buddy. That's my friend. You know, he's with the same company. You can't do that, man. That's That, that doesn't work. You know, it goes against everything. You know, if we're going to make forward progress and we're all going to maintain our lanes, we're going to call an ace an ace and a spade a spade. And that's how you're going to have to run with it. Now, what if, and I'm just putting this out there as devil's advocate. Okay. Right? I love devil's what, advocate. What if... Billy didn't design the dead rabbit. What if they just used his name for marketing purposes? I thought the same thing. I thought the exact same thing. And it's actually a question that's come up in forums. I don't know if you guys know it or not, but I spent a lot of time in forums and a lot of people don't go back to the old forums anymore. The forums are kind of like a somewhat dying thing amongst people. But dude, I spent a lot of time there. I don't ever say shit. I just listen to what the people You're have to say. I would, I, the, hamburg like the Hamburglar has a, has a thing. Go ahead. Go after, ahead, after Nick, after Nick, I have another devil's advocate. Yeah, let's I, I'd just like to say that another what if kind of scenario. What if Billy designed both? Oh, <laughs> yes, because you got the next one. There you go. This is all just scenarios we're pulling out of the we'll air. Right. Devil's advocate. Hypothetical, yes. hypothetical, guys. Hypothetical situations. Yeah. For That's marketing, right. go ahead, Mike. You had one more after Nick. Well, mine was basically what Nick was going to say. What if uh, he was a silent partner? And you never know. This is stuff. They're out there. I'm just saying because, they're out there. No. Because of what you said. <laughs> because of what you said, Joel. You said, that's my boy. My boy. Why are you biting off my shit? Yep. So, so going back, and, going, and now, go ahead, Nick. I was just going to say, like, I just wanted to make a point earlier. Going back to the whole velocity style deck thing. Right. Mike, you probably know Dino and Cisco, right? Like, do you know those I've guys? Met, uh, one of them. Who's the guy that goes on a talk show with uh, Dino. Dino? Dino, that's fine. Yeah, I mean. Dino and Cisco, right? Those are the guys behind the, uh, the velocity. velocity, right? I actually own an authentic Velocity V V two myself, and I waited on the website and I refreshed that page a million times Ooh. to get that. How many times uh, I did that, man? <laughs> and I got to the point where I said, "Fuck it," and I went and bought the clone. Right, and there was I really the good choice. Clones. I wanted it so badly. But I've spoke to Dino and Cisco about this, and they said themselves that the clone is good. The uh, tobacco clone is good, yeah. right? They said it themselves. And not only that, they don't give a shit about yeah. the clones because they wanted to come out with their product, and they did. Yeah. And those who respect that product will buy the authentic, and those who really just want something like it, or if they can't get their hands on one, They'll buy the clone, but either way, they don't care. They change the industry. They change the game for vaping as a whole. And that's really what they were kind of seeking out to do, but they weren't really expecting to do that at the start, no. but they did. And now it's a thing. Well, I talked to Dino uh, the first time I went to Foxwoods and I told him, I was like, man, I, you know, I'd, I'd love to get one. He said, well, they have some over there. So I went around the corner, like he immediately left the conversation. It was like, fuck this. I'm going to find one. And the guy had five of them. I told him I would buy three if he would cut me a $20 break on all, on all three of them. So it'd take it down to one Oh five a piece. Cause I was going to keep one for myself and put two in my shop. And at $105, I'd make what 20 bucks a piece off of them. So to put that in a shop, that makes a that that's a dumbass move uh, to put that in a shop with no fucking markup. You're buying it for retail to sell it for retail. There's it's stupid. But I was Did willing to do that. I was willing to do that if he would cut me a break. And the dude was a complete fucking dick about it. And I was like, okay, fuck you. You just lost four hundred fucking dollars. Who are we talking about? The, the I don't know. It, uh, you know. It was one of the one of the. Um, high-end mod companies or something they had three of them four or five of them sitting there it's not that they can't come out with these products <laughs> is it that they 
they come out with a certain what? amount because they can come out with a certain amount. It's not that they want to produce a thousand of these things or ten thousand of these things. They come out with however many they feel like it. At the time when I got mine, <clears throat> mine was the second round, right? I have a, a serial number under 200. So I got it on a Tuesday. They were releasing 100 a day for five days. So I got mine on a Tuesday and it was literally, they were gone in 15 minutes. By the time you refresh that page like 20 times, they were gone. <laughs> Sorry, I'm dying over Babe and Fagan's comments what? here. <laughs> he's, uh, right. he's trolling he says, hard, ain't he? In all caps, I have photos of Mike Babe smoking cigarettes. <laughs> Mike Babe is a dual yogurt user. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so, Fagan, I'm, I'm still waiting on pictures of Fagan naked right now. I'm just saying, a hashtag uh, after show. Yeah. I'm going to say that it's going to fall down to the naming of a, what would you consider a clone. If you have the balls to go out there and say, you're Mr. Just Right One, you're Mr. Joe o. Robinson, you better have the balls to smell my cologne because I'm going to come see you over that, Jack. And <laughs> I think that needs to be the same way when it comes to these vape companies. If you design something and you put something out there. Look, the example, the 502 is being thrown up big time right now in the chat. Yep. If you go off and you make a 502 and you call it the 502 and you say it's designed by Jay Hayes and it's manufactured by these folks, you better be ready to answer for that, Jack. I mean, if I see you, if I go out somewhere and see something that I designed to work my ass off for, have my name on it, and somebody else is just throwing it out there for sale. You remember back in the day, I don't know how long most of you guys have been vaping, but there was videos of conventions of people going over there and just swiping shit off the fucking displays of clones of their shit. You know, I'm going to do the same thing. That If you got my name on it, it's mine. I got my name on it. What are you going to do about it? It's mm -hmm. my name. You know? Yeah. I remember when uh, I did uh, the Icon RDA and uh, 3FA, uh, E-Fun, Dotop, Fast Tech, they all put up clones right off yep. the bat. I fucking emailed all of them and fucking threatened them. <laughs> you have to do that though but see yeah. mike that's what you got to people got to respect that you had you know you took the time to say hey no fuck you this is mine you do, i'm threatening you i'm telling you now you take it off your side or there'll be repercussions to pay you yeah. know you have the following behind it to make those words mean things when i dropped you know? the lucid when i dropped the lucid what 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 did i have though like what? What did I have to be able to tell them to get it off the site? <laughs> I didn't have nothing. You didn't have it and exactly. You, but, you did it. but you. But you know what else you didn't have? But you did have. You did reach out to him and tell him though, did you not? The only way I got away with that being a crappy clone, and it not being worth buying, and you know what? If you couldn't afford fifty dollars from my RDA and you bought it for ten from them, if it was an actual one to one clone, I'm not. I I got nothing to say to you about it. There's nothing I can say to you about it. I'm not going to say anything to you about it. But they made a $10 clone RDA that wasn't a clone. It was junk. And uh, it didn't have half of the amenities that the Lucid had. The only way I controlled that was I was the only place you could get the Lucid. And I had direct control over, there was three or four different online shops that I actually wholesaled to. And that was it. And so I could, I'm, I'm not shipping overseas. And if they shipped overseas, they only had so many, and I knew how many they had. That's the only way that they couldn't get one to actually clone one to one, and it wouldn't be worth it by then because it's such a small run. So nobody wants my name on nothing. It's okay. I don't. No, they shit still that. did it. They put my name. No, no, no. Oh. I was just saying. I just read something somewhere that said somebody said, "Don't nobody wants my name on nothing. It's okay. Oh. I don't give a shit if my name's on something because I know what work I put into things and what input I had to something." That enough is rewarding enough for me because at the end of the day, when I go pay my electric bill, I can't go up and shovel with a piece of paper that says, Mr. Just Right One, I want to pay my electric bill. Fuck that. It's about them dead presidents. That's what pays the bills. Sorry. Just had to do that. No, I'm not supposed to. No, I had no to. you're fine. What do you mean you're not supposed to? You're fine. <laughs> no, um, it, it's, it's just one of those things. Like like I said, I just wanted to know where every, I'm glad you guys kind of feel that way because uh, I feel like one to one clones are the only clones worth buying but i also feel like they're the most they're the only they're the most detrimental to the industry and to the right. actual people who make them but on the other hand i feel all these things that are being attacked for being clones aren't really clones and uh uh i just kind of was curious about anybody else's feelings about that so uh, i owned a uh, i owned the only clone i have ever owned 
um, is, well, I take it back. Someone gave me a Velocity clone, right? Someone gave that to me and that, you know, that is what it is. Um, <clears throat> the only clone I ever bought was a uh, Vapor's Cloud Buddha ZV3 uh, clone. <laughs> the big one. Because I, I was that. in like a random vape shop and they, they straight up told me, they're like, it's a clone just so you know. And I was like, well, I kind of want to try it. So yeah, I'll buy it, right? And uh, so I bought it from them at probably a, at a ridiculous price. And this was before I really knew what, um, you know, what, what, what the reality of the situation was. But the weird thing was, is that after using that for a little bit, I used a friend of, uh, a friend of mine's authentic and the clone was better. You know what I mean? Like, so in rare cases, you'll find that, but it, you know, it's, you know, it is what it is. Like it, it, clones are out there. No one's going to stop buying them. They make them because there's a market for them. Right. So, you know, the only thing we can do is just, you know, to keep threatening these companies and say like, look, we're not going to stand for this. But at the end of the day, China doesn't care. They, they half of their industry is made off of uh, making products that other people make. Right. So we talked about the devil's advocate earlier, talking about these three F vapes and so forth. And I mentioned this whenever Loose the Dreamer was cloned and had all them issues there and whatnot. We don't know that China is not manufacturing something that they manufacture for Stan. All right. Stan, we made you 200 Dreamers. Here you go, brother. We're making them for you. But that somebody also in that building who's a, a shot caller there said, hey, you know what? We're going to make another 100 of these. And I'm going to give these to 3F Vapes because they have access to something that I don't have access to and cannot get. Because China doesn't like to give China shit for some damn reason. I don't know what it is. So a deal's worked out where they say, okay, here's 100 Dreamers that were built on the same damn machinery that the first 200 were. Give me 100 of these devices or 200 of these devices that I don't have access to and cannot get but is being sought after right now. And they say, okay, here you go. And that was all done before Stan ever knew about it. It's done before Stan ever has any input or say to it. And 3F Vapes or Times Vapes says, well, uh, we have no recollection of any doing any business with them. Okay, you don't have any recollection of doing business with them because your boss man told you ain't none of your damn business. Get back over there and get the quality count or quantity count. Here's, here's the situation. And I had full knowledge of this. And I said, okay, I'll give you guys, I'll give you guys a little tidbit. Um, there was, there was a company in Taiwan or some, maybe not, I don't know, somewhere there was a company that they only overseas and they only sold their own. It was an Asian company. They only sold their own branding, only sold their own branding. And they wanted a mech mod. They contacted Times Vape, said these dreamers are awesome. We want a bunch of dreamers. Here's the problem. We only sell our own branding. They only have our name on them. They only have our logo on them. everything that we sell. They contacted me. Times Vape did. Said, look, these guys want to buy this many things. They do this. Um, I said, you know what? I said, you leave Design by Stan on there. Uh, uh, Design in the USA. You make sure that the serials are there. There's, there's a number I, i'm not i can't remember this was months ago i can't remember the exact count but there's a number of dreamers out there they're actually authentic dreamers that have a different logo on them oh yeah i said okay i'm, I'm cool with it. it it still had my name on it it was brought through me through the company that i'm working with and they said look we want to do this we want the same ones make us a special deal for this many and put our logo on it Cool. God yeah, damn there's it. There's nothing wrong with that. There's other companies that do that too. I don't know if you guys remember, uh, you know, the company Vaporfy? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Well, remember, I don't know, they still do it, I think. I'm not sure, but they buy products. I remember uh, it was the Kanger Tech Sub Tank Mini. Yeah. They were selling them, but theirs ha had green O rings. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was the Vaporfy tank. Yeah. Meanwhile, that was a tank. It wasn't a clone. They bought those from Kanger Tech so they could sell them on their site. Yeah, they rebranded them. They rebranded it, which was by Kanger, Kanger manufactured it for them. Mm -hmm. You know, so that's a different story. You know what I'm saying? Right. That's not now, a, I'm just saying things like that happen. That's okay. Yeah. Now I'm going to have to go figure out where the fuck I can find one of these exclusive dreamers. <laughs> I have the only one. <laughs> I, dude, dude that, I don't even have one, man. I don't even. That's, I've only seen but one that's dreamer. the kind of shit that I look for. Like something like that that's 
completely obscure. You know, that's the kind of shit I want in my collection. I'd love to have one. Yeah, man. One one. of the things that I love about this mod is that he uh, messed up and put the scales on the wrong side. They're supposed to go down like this, but he he messed up and put them up like this. And I'm the only one that has one of these, (laughs) you know, like weird stuff, you know, like pennies that get stamped twice. I give you another example. (laughs) Hold on, let me grab it. This got the jean chip in there. <laughs> this is like yeah. a, you know, it's a collector's I, I, item. I really yeah. want one. I really want one just just for collectability. Yeah. It's a collector's item. I had item. one. I gave it away. I'll never get it. I got two of them. I know you gave yours away. You gave it to uh, uh, Dwayne, right? Yes, I did. Yeah, right yes, after we got done talking about it, you give it to Dwayne. No, well, the reason why I came out being. The what? reason why I gave it to Dwayne was <laughs> because, because I had offers to. <laughs> Dude, I could have bought a fucking rage box for nothing. I mean, it wasn't like the price isn't that bad I'm on a rage joking, box. I'm joking. I'm joking. I had all. Do I turn? I'll be honest with you. I turned down two hundred and eighty-five dollars for mine. A legit offer. I turned it down. Why? Because it was not about the money. It's about a moment in time and somebody who's gonna appreciate it. And I know Dwayne was like, you know what, dude. I want that piece, brother. Like, I got whatever the fuck you want. Let me have it. And I gave it to him and told him, you don't owe me shit in return. I didn't want a fucking rage box in return. $285? That's such an odd number. That's what the guy offered me. I asked 300 <laughs> at first. He said, man, I got 285 on my PayPal. I said, nah, I'm just fucking with you. I'm not selling it, brother. I'm not. It's not about the money. I shot 300 because I thought he'd say, you know what? Fuck yourself. Ain't happening. <laughs> but he actually came back with a quote and said, hey, I got 285 on my PayPal. Would you take it? And I was like, nah, man, really, I'm not going to part ways with it. If I do, it'll be gifted to somebody. I have the vape vault. Dude, I could put it in the vape vault and just kept it for all the time. But I didn't do that. I felt the homeboy would be more appreciative of it. And fuck, I gave it to him. It was mine to give. And he even asked me, too, do you want me to keep it under under tight lips that you gave it to me? I said, fuck that. I'm a grown man. You wanted it. It was mine. I gave it to you. Somebody got a problem with it? Just Question. right. <laughs> Question for, for Mike and Stan right now. Uh, if you had the opportunity to... Like, could, would you do like uh, Jay and Silent Bob, where like they go and fly to the people's house and beat the shit out of them, like for, for the people that cloned you guys? Who's Jay? Am I Jay and he's Silent Bob, or am I Silent Bob and he's Jay? I'm not gonna. I'm not saying a well, word. You can't give me a hypothetical without all the details. Fine, you're Jay and he's Silent Bob. Your words, not mine. I asked. No, I, wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't beat them up for it. No, man. I, I, I don't need to. I just jump on YouTube and trash them. Yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, I can't a, a clone, that. but like, you know what they say? Like, I'll uh, help you. <laughs> <laughs> you know what they say? Like, uh, 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 imitation is the sincerest form of flattery, right? So just the fact that you have a product out there that is worthy of cloning should say something. You've got to admit, like, that's, you, you kind of feel special at that point. I'm You're not like, going to oh. lie, dude. When I saw that they had cloned it, and they cloned it based off pictures. I was like, dude, I was like, this is cool. Kind of cool. Like, I mean, it kind of sucks, but it's kind of cool because they didn't do a good job. So I can't really get, you know. But why do you think Mike kept his top cap on all night? Yeah. Uh, hey, you know what? That's, <laughs> I would do the same thing now. Uh, and I did the same thing with the Lucid. Nobody saw the Lucid want, until the day it released. You want to hear a funny story? <laughs> I remember uh, when the icon got released and there were the clones, whatever. Anyway. I got them off a lot of those big sites, but there were some other sites I was selling them. I said, you know what? Fuck it. I don't give a shit. Whatever. So uh, the best was Instagram, where they'd like do a build on the on the icon and tag me in it. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, I know it's the fucking clone. <laughs> fucked up. They got a gold, they got a gold top cap for it and they're tagging me. Meanwhile, there was never an icon that was gold. <laughs> Speaking uh, speaking of the icon, I, like, I actually uh, just got one. I actually just got one the other day in a Grim Green two dollar Patreon box. I've never I've never used one, so I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to give it nice. a shot. I love my icons actually. Dude, like, I have the iconic, but I've never used the icon. I didn't get I an have, iconic. <laughs> I have so every one. Uh, have, Vandy Vape is messing up with their their people lately. I think it, yes. at that time that was when uh, were you dealing with Sally mm. on Skype? No, it was uh shit. I have to. I don't say who it is. People can go out hunting them for. Yeah, right. Anyway, she they ended up firing her, and then everything just went to shit. Well, they sent out that mass email and then apologized for it. 
This is industry talk. This is like yeah, this is like China, China, China is South. going crazy right now. China. <laughs> so this is a clone I have. Uh, does anyone recognize this? Anyone? Uh, steamboat? No. No. You talking Hold about on. the mod or the RDA? The uh, brass the monkey. Uh, is that the Blackhawk? No. Come on, man. Just tell us dude, already. <laughs> dude, this is from uh, Cloud Kicker Society. Yeah, I was fixing to say that's a CKS. <laughs> yep. Um, and I wanted this mod <laughs> so bad. So bad. And it was like 350 bucks at the time. No way I was paying that. So a buddy of mine traded me for some other random clone that I had kicking around. And he sent it to me. And it's it's not bad. It's not a terrible clone. But like literally the second I put that, that drip tip on there, mm. it started chipping away. And I'm just like, okay, I'm done with this. So I was pretty disappointed in that. I would still use this. Oh my God, it still has a build on there. <laughs> Do it. Do it, Nick. No, uh, Demo, just for clarification, that is a Black Hulk. Yeah, oh, no, no, no. Yeah. yeah. I, so I, again, as I said earlier, I haven't been vaping for that long. Nick said at one point that he had a Black Hawk clone. I have a Black was... Hawk clone and I have a Black Hawk authentic. I actually went yeah, out and bought that's, one. That's the authentic right there. That's me. I don't know if y'all remember this. Y'all remember when Twisted Messes sent Richard both of his RDA? He sent his authentic and he sent a clone. I got to give him props to that because he sent them both. He's like, here's the fucking clone and here's the authentic. Here you go. Have at it. And he did a video on it. Yeah, it, was, it was way back in the day, but he done it. And I, you got to give Kent mad props to that because the guy went out and bought a damn clone to send him. Like, what the fuck? I've got That's a good it. one. I got a good one for you guys because of basically what Nick just uh, said that he has the clone and the authentic. What are you guys' feelings about people that buy a clone because they don't want to invest to buy the authentic? And if they see they like the RDA, they, then they go and pursue the authentic. That's, that's what I say. Done right. That's what I say in every one of my older videos because I truly believe that that is absolutely okay as long as it is a decent company's like Kind Bright or um, um, Tobacco or one of these companies that makes really nice clones. You get a really nice one to one clone of like a hundred dollar RDA before you spend the hundred dollars on it. To test it out, I'm okay with that. And I was gonna say a minute ago that almost every clone that I that I had or that I purchased when I started that I liked, I bought the authentic of. Yeah. So as long as you stick to that, as long as you absolutely think that that is like you make that your apps like your actual rule, I think that's fine. I will Leave say the label lung off of it too, man. Leave the name off of it. Shit. Like, just make it a bare brand deal. You use the same thing, but just don't put a name on it. Don't They're not going to do that, like that, though. So, way back in the day, way back in the day, up. listen. So, way back in the day, mech mods were really hard to get your hands on because they were very rare and they were very expensive. If very. you think mech mods nowadays are expensive, back in the day, like a Stingray went for like two, three hundred easy. Yeah. So I bought the Nemesis clone and it, this thing literally did not fire. This is the Vape Rev edition. Now, Vape Rev it was a, a website that, that sold like these nice high-end mods. Oh. And I bought the Vape Rev edition, which had the brass rings. First of all, it's gold plated, not brass. Second of all, it had a brass ring in between the center here and when I used it with the brass ring in the center, it literally did not fire because whatever they used to plate this thing was non-conductive. So it had <laughs> they no themselves. conductivity in the tube. So I had to take it out and fit the battery just right in order to get it to work. So my whole thing as That's far right. as Stan's point, yeah, there you go. <laughs> as far as Stan's point goes, Honestly, you're doing yourself a disservice by buying the clone first just to try it out. Because honestly, half the time the clones are shit. They don't work. They are garbage. They just do not work properly. And well, especially with the Blackhawk clone, because I had two Blackhawk clones, and within 24 hours, their lock mechanisms broke. So well, let's just talk about like like the uh, well, what's you know what's like the Mike showing the Goon V2. Right, you know what I mean? Like, let's talk about the bottom oh, yeah. airflow. Now, I have a huge problem with that. 
Okay, I have a really huge problem with yeah. that. Don't make don't make clones of stuff for a company that hasn't even come out with anything yet. Like the that's that's a constant issue. The 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 goon the recoil V2, the goon RDTA yeah, the recoil. V2. Come on. Dude, yeah. I called I called a guy out in the shop about two weeks ago. Is that an authentic stingray, Mike? <laughs> hey, check it, baby. Serial number five. That's you awesome. You bastard. It's a clone. It's no. a clone. <laughs> Fuck you, Mike Vapes. <laughs> Fuck you, Mike Vapes. There it is. And uh, just to go back to what Nick was saying, back then, though, the clone mechs were fucking horrid. Oh. Yeah. yeah, they were garbage. Right, I have this. I have a Nemesis clone and uh, one other one. I don't know. And all three of them never worked. I bought them, and I was like, wow, these are fucking dangerous. You know? But the, yeah. the, the first of the first authentic mech I ever saw was a Lancelot, and he brought it in. It was in a, a wood case, and the dude brought it to work and opened up the wood case, and it was like it was in there, and had the certificate of authenticity. And he was like, "Yeah, it was three hundred and fifteen bucks." I was like, "What the fuck? You just spent a goddamn <laughs> car note on a little piece of shiny metal." You're a fucking idiot. And now I have several that are in that price range. I was going to say, I There's... actually just bought a $350 tube just like three days ago. Yeah. There is a quality difference. There is a tolerance difference. There's a machining difference. There is, there is a lot into it that people don't understand. And being from a background that has included manufacturing, um, <clears throat> being from a background that has included manufacturing has like, that's really obvious to me. And I'm sure you guys, cause you've had so much in your hands. Um, but to be able to hold something like a one-to-one -one clone and know if it's better than others or not, it takes a minute. So an authentic is all is usually now I'm not saying it's always worth the money because it may be super expensive when you could get like the dreamer, for instance, you can get like a really, really nice. There's plenty of other instances you can get besides the damn dreamers. I got one in front of me and it's mine. It's the first one that came to my mind, okay? Like, tell me that it's not high quality. You know it's what I'm not saying? high quality. Yeah, well, you're full of it. You don't even have one. We got a question. We got a, listen, we got a question in the chat right now. Let's uh, an, you know what? Let's, let's, let's stop. Let's answer the question and then let's do some Instagram shout outs. Right. So it says Justin Merrill asks reviewers, how do you how do y'all feel about consumers getting custom contacts made for mods? Well, I don't have a problem with it. Well, I'm, what I'm kind of mods? Custom wheels on your ride either. Hell, if you want to put custom wheels on your ride and it rides like shit, that's on you. That's like that's like saying uh, that's just like a trip tip, right? Buying an aftermarket trip tip. And putting Pretty it much. I mean, it's accessorizing. Exactly. Yeah, I agree. It's, I it's have, your zero, mod. You bought it. Um, right. I have zero issue with that. I uh, I actually got a seat. I, I shit you not. When I owned a uh, Ferrari four five eight, I put an exhaust on it, and it my video. I posted a video on Instagram, and it made its way around Instagram. And I actually got a cease and desist email from Ferrari about <laughs> about modifying my car. Uh, and I literally, sent, I literally sent them an email back and said, "You can go fuck yourself." <laughs> fuck yeah that's exactly what i'd have said myself. what are you gonna do you know like 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 come on take your car to the ferrari for dealership services uh get this yeah, computer they were like, oh yeah we're gonna we're gonna avoid <laughs> you your, your warranty base. all this kind of shit and i was like that's not how this works there are laws in the united states that protect us against that like <laughs> you know don't 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 even bullshit me no he uh, says Justin, well Justin let me ask this question because Mike Vapes has a product coming out with Wodafo. Everybody knows I love Wodafo myself, but Wodafo started themselves as a company who made clones. Yeah. Yep. Oh. A lot of people may know that. Some people may not know that, but everything they released the initially, initially was all clones. And then they took that money and said, okay, we're going to invest in ourselves and we're going to release our own stuff. And it was crappy stuff. <laughs> what what money. was one of what was one of the first things Watofo came out with that was their own design? Their own design? Yep. And uh, it was it was probably one of the most successful drippers before the fucking the velocity came out. I could answer that. Ooh. Oh, I know you can. Hmm. 
fucking freak show, maybe? Troll. Oh, troll. troll. Yeah. yeah. Troll. Yeah, the troll. Because that came out with the troll V1. Yeah, I would say yeah. troll. And that was that it that's what it was, the troll. And that's what basically they took the money from their sales of their products of what they tried different things and didn't work out. They took their money, invested back in themselves, and started getting quality product or attempting quality products. And they're not always gonna hit home runs, guys. You know what I mean? But they're not expected to hit home runs every damn time. People have to take the loss mm -hmm. before you ever get to that W. That L comes long before it. Right. And they're a prime example of it. They were one of the ones that actually might have been even the first that came out with that authentic, but had a fucking cheap price. That she, yes. Right? Oh, yeah. Uh, $30. They got for the uh, resin game. You know, everybody threw a fit over this Voopoo resin thing. Dude, Waterfall made like resin known to people. Yes, the drag came out. Okay. But the all resin box, the RAM box that they came out with. Dude, there's people that would have never had such a beautiful little piece of hardware oh because of the of, price speaking of resin uh i don't want to start any drama but did everyone see yeah. like vupu's response to the whole uh uh thing where they said oh well look they're copying us with the resin or whatever it's just like really you're talking about fucking resin, resin? Yeah. <laughs> yes something right, that's right. mass right. mass mass yeah, produced so the resin yeah. the resin producer wants to limit their clientele by allowing Vupu to say things like that and nobody wanting to do business with them? Is that is that what it is? Yeah, I'd be really cool. pissed if I was that manufacturer. <laughs> yeah. Um, My thing is, it's fucking resin, dude. Add a couple more drops of red or a couple more drops of blue to the patch and be done with it. It's going to change it anyway. What were you going to say, Heavy? Sorry. <clears throat> no, I wouldn't say anything. Oh, that was oh, me. I, um, oh. So uh, we just wanted to bring something up in chat real quick. Uh, David Pearson says, uh, panel, I'm still somewhat new to vaping, only a few months now. Uh, congratulations, I'm making the switch. Um, before tonight, I honestly didn't even know clones were a thing. So thanks to the panel for this topic tonight. Yeah, absolutely, man. Like, uh, you know, we just try to, we try to get you some good information and some good, uh, you know, good quality discussion. Hopefully it's good information you take and apply positively, you know, like they don't just say, hey, look, you know, I want to go get that right now. I want to go get that right now. And hey, any drama going on in the chat, you can grab the boot real damn quick. I'll give you a Texas boot like that and won't have to think twice about it. I don't give a shit who you are, where you're from. I honestly didn't know that they were on the market either when I started. I just found a cheap website that had a lot of stuff because I'm like that. I dive into the rabbit hole head first and I have fun going down it um and uh i was buying you know five dollar ten dollar rdas whatever until i realized they were clones i remember the first time i bought off a of fast tech i didn't know <laughs> they were, i didn't know that they were in china <laughs> and uh i and now to this day every time i find a new website i'm like is this a china website <laughs> like you know like and then i find out i'm like god damn it like you know like I have to wait a month for my shit well, the first one of the first people I ever uh, was subscribed to on YouTube, as far as vaping goes, was a guy named Scott Bonner, aka I Get You Sixty Nine. And for those old school people in this room right now, big shout out to you guys because uh, Scott has been around forever, forever. Um, so I started watching him. And he was showing off all this beautiful, beautiful hardware back in the day. And I wanted everything that he was showing off. And I could not afford it because I would, the second I stopped that review, I would go on the website and I'd be like, wow. <laughs> all right, this is 80 bucks, 90 bucks, 100 bucks, 200, 300, et cetera. And I was just like, there's no way. And that's basically kind of what led me down the clone rabbit hole to the Nemesis clone. And since then, I was like, okay, well, maybe they're authentic and they're this expensive for a reason. And I am a wholehearted believer in authentics being expensive for a reason. Like, there's a reason why it's this much money. It's not just because they're inflating the price a million times. And I'm not, not talking about, like, the M Addy or anything like that. Okay. I'm talking about, the, like, the kind of mid-range authentic stuff like the Kennedy and, and things like that. Right. I mean, you know, like some, some things obviously are inflated past what they're really worth, but at the end of the day, you know, look, it's, it's business, right? Like if you choose, to, if you choose to set your product up as something that's crazy expensive and that's just the product that the, the, you know, the area that you're in, then fine, you know? 
Like that's well, that's what you've chosen to do. Somebody brings up the uh, the K Fun clones, right? Yep. I some, have of one. The, some of the K Fun clones were just as good as the authentics. I hate to be the one to say it, but some of them were just as good as far as performance goes. Not machine yeah. quality, not aesthetically, but as far as performance goes, the screws were good, the airflow was good, the the flavor was fantastic. They just they just weren't a Swamesto product. Yeah, cut cut the right? corners, you know, like it's at the, yeah, at the end of the day, yeah. like I, I really would like to try the K Fun Light th- uh, what is it? K Fun Light Plus. K Fun Light Plus or whatever, K Fun Light yeah. 3 Plus, whatever. Anyway, I want to try that because but there's there are no authentics anymore, but I've heard that the clones are good. So I'm I may clone. have one I can send you, Nemo. <clears throat> a clone. Yeah. <laughs> I, I have a I have a shelf. Okay. I got real excited and then you said the word clone and I was like, no, well, since I right. since like I try I you know what? In fact, I don't buy the clone stuff anymore, but when you start up and you got sure, no money, dang. that's just how sure. it goes. Dude, I don't. Um I have them all piled up in a pile on top of a shelf over here and I only kept the ones that are actually quality. I went through I used to have a sponsorship from a monthly box company that would send out a box in every month with juice and hardware. And the hardware was always a one-to-one clone that he would send to the sponsees to have test. And we would test them and he would only put the ones in the monthly boxes for customers that were actually quality. So I kept a few quality ones because I felt bad throwing them away because they could help somebody. Uh, that didn't have enough money to buy something or whatever, or to see if, like my friend, he wanted to see if he um, if he would even enjoy vaping. And he got a sub on tank. He kind of liked it. And he's like, I want more. I want more. I had a really nice Velocity RTA clone. So I gave it to him. And now he loves it. And he's he buys real stuff, nice stuff, you know, and that's what he does. It's kind of the same situation that I had. But uh, I don't. I don't tell people. Are you tired, Joel? No, uh, Nick <laughs> stretched, and I wanted to stretch too. I don't tell people go out and buy clones. But if that's like we've said it a thousand times, if that's all you can afford, like I mean, I, nobody can stop you. Like this, just right. they exist. Yeah, for not reason. everybody can get a hot chick with thirty-four double D, so they gotta pay their girl to go get fake ones, and then you. Just <laughs> Are you talking bad about my wife, Joel? Oh, no, no, no. You, come on now, listen, man. Come on, you no designed your wife, you designed your wife yourself, and you had her like made in a factory somewhere. So it's okay, uh, Stan. It's uh, it's totally fine. So here's my thing. She is a great I don't, design. I really, really, like, honestly, 110% can give two shits what somebody else is using. The minute I have a problem is when you say, oh, well, you know, must be nice using that fucking $300 mech mod, go fuck yourself. Work for <laughs> it. Fuck I'll yourself. Work for it. Right. Yeah. Like, right. that's, that's first of all, whether I'm paying my bills or how I can afford a $300 mech is none of your fucking business, first of all. Second of all, I didn't say anything that you're using a fucking apocalypse RDTA that doesn't even fucking exist. Like you can go fuck yourself. Right. Um, I don't care what you're using. I don't give mm-hmm. a fuck. I don't care what kind of house you live in. I don't care what kind of fucking car you drive. I don't care what kind of shoes you got on your goddamn feet. The minute I have a problem is when you have a problem with something I fucking have because you're jealous. Uh, and get those fucking Adidas out of here, son. <laughs> oh, come on. You said you didn't care about the shoes I have on my feet. Fuck. <laughs> I don't care about them as long as they're fucking Nikes. So I got Nikes too, man. I got some Nikes. The, the whole thing is, all right, bottom line is here, bottom line for me with clones Fuck it. is take my goddamn shoes off, throw them some bitches across <laughs> the motherfucking living room. Is that better now? I'm barefoot. I, I don't care what you, you guys are using. <laughs> Honestly, I have no I do not care what you guys are using as long as it's safe. Bottom line is, yes. if it's safe to vape, then I'm fine with it. Sure as safe. long as you're not smoking cigarettes, I'm totally fine with it. Yep, I'm, I'm, I feel the exact same way. 
Um, someone asked in chat, um, uh, well, uh, several people actually asked in chat what we would consider high end, right? What, what, what we would define as high end, right? I have um, one thing. Ooh, well, I, 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 I have a feeling on this too, right? My, my feeling is that it's less about price, more about rarity and lack of availability and like, and craftsmanship, right? If, if, if a person put their harder, you know, their, their, their time and their love and their effort into a product, um, and that it's not something you, you know, you can just go to vapor DNA and buy, then you know that that to me makes it high end, right? Uh, not not necessarily. No, I think not, no. <laughs> I think something something like this that is you know the the SQ. These are readily available, right? You can buy them on their website. Hell, you can buy them on Mike's website. Hit that juice.com. Use coupon code Mike Vapes ten for ten percent off. Yeah, I mean, like, so, so I, I, I understand that. I mean, like, the SQ is a really nice squonker, right? And it's, and it's expensive, and it's, but it's readily available and whatnot. To me, uh, you know, I mean, like, this is such, this is such a, a, a personal thing, right? There's no definition for what a high end mod is, right? But, but it, well, I think I, it's I, something I, that's I not. Hang on, so, I know where you're going with that. I have met the dudes. There's literally. What, so six, yeah. six people that work for that company and it's a, a, a father a son a brother <laughs> an uncle and a cousin that are you know it, and it, it's them it's literally the epitome of high end like they okay. everything is quality controlled by hand yep. it doesn't leave unless it meets their specifications now the fact that they have the capability of producing 30 boxes a day that doesn't take away or detract from uh the fact that they are gone over no. one at okay. a time. all right all right i suppose that's true all right i would I like to hold on I'll let okay, Mike just, just one thing just one thing before yeah quick go for it if it's not made on an, uh, an assembly line then i would consider that also being high end okay that's and that's what i was going to say is that is that i i guess i suppose i retract the like the rarity thing it's it's I guess well, that's me, a good thing, sir. Right. For me, it's more about, you know, is the attention there, right? Is is every piece of this mod or this atomizer or anything designed with a purpose, designed with a, you know, this like vision, right? Like that that is, I guess, you know, beyond just like cranking a bunch of stuff out on an assembly line, right? Like when you start details of, about how certain people do you know their products uh i'm trying to say something and i'm, I'm struggling like with just like, say what I'm it. To say. No, I'm just <laughs> like coming up with the words that like in in the sense that like the quality ultimately mm -hmm. you know when when you go over every single piece with a fine tooth tooth comb look right? i've never thought i've never thought about this question before okay I've always looked at everything as what can I afford and what can I not afford. I've never thought about high end or the only thing I didn't consider quality was things that you get that are janky, you know? And so <clears throat> to me, I got my first piece of what I would consider high end gear in the mail and it was sent to me and I did the live stream on it and the, the stew crew is going to hate me because they I've been showing this thing off constantly with this bestia mod and the reason why i thought it, the reason why it feels so like that it's high it's it's just a tube it's literally just a tube there's no extra pieces to this thing there's no switch there's no spring there's no contacts there's nothing it's a hybrid mod the inside of it is is just a nub machined into the bottom of the mod that's it now, the reason why I feel that this is high in is because the fact that there's not a lot of them around. The quality is immense. Like, I've never felt a mech mod that felt this way. I've had my hands on a lot of mech mods. I've had my hands on a lot of, you know, $150, $200 mechs, you know, and that's pretty expensive to me. And those are nice. I've never felt anything like this before. I've never touched anything like this. Like the Cerakote, I own guns and stuff, and I've got a lot of nice Cerakoting jobs, Cerakoting jobs, American Cerakoting jobs. Um, and this is the nicest Cerakote that I have ever 
seen or felt. That's like, that's the way I feel about my MMK. Did the check clear they, for that damn they, they, little they, segue they, you just did they, right there? They Dude, did the check already clear for you, that or not? I don't want to cut Demo off, and I'll, I'm going to get back to you, Demo. But the, the, you can't like I'm not even exaggerating with how nice it is. If you held it, you'd agree with me. I 100% would bet money on. Give that. it to him and let him hold it. So well, I, well, look, yes, I have a I have a Sorry, perfect Demo. example sitting right here. Okay, this. I bought for my wife in Detroit. This is a, it's a TVL Colt 45. But if you look on the back, this is number 31. There were only a hundred of these made, right? This, this uh, particular color on their website. This is a $500 mechanical mod. Okay. There's nothing special about this motherfucker at all for half the price possibly one of the most beautiful hand Seabon? handmade pieces that I own. I will never get rid of this, by the way, this was given to me by a very special person who's also on this panel. Uh, <laughs> You're very welcome, man. Think nothing of it. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. It was nothing, bro. You're good. This, people. <laughs> this is only this, this is only 200 and what? 250 something like that uh about right at 300 with the cap for the for the set right this is a hundred times more high end than this fucking colt 45 a hundred times they're not even these aren't even on the same fucking playing field so i'm about to throw a monkey wrench into everything when you get done okay go ahead so uh, basically what i was getting at is you can't put a price tag on what high end kind of is for me for me just high end is somebody is building it stuff with their hands and it's great quality that's why i consider high end i do not consider and i don't know a lot of people are going to get pissed over this uh <laughs> you have rdas like uh what is it the nardas or whatever they are those named you know what i'm talking about yeah little rdas the Flav 22, the Narda, the Hadley, the e- I mean, no, not the Hadley. Not the Hadley. Hadley. That's a psych- We're no. talking about them list exclusives that they only make like a certain amount. The, Haku, Haku. Haku. the Cruisers. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> For me, I don't consider those high end. The only reason well, they are high end is because the person that made or designed it couldn't afford to mass produce it. Bingo. And I'm in agreement with true. what Heavy said. And and the majority of all of those, they're all made in China. All those two hundred dollar RDAs that you guys are paying for, they're made in China. Yes, and I'm gonna agree with Heavy. Heavy just said you said you can't put a price tag on high end. I agree, one hundred and ten percent. You cannot put a price tag on high end. Me personally, I don't consider. I think uh, Mike may own one. I think uh, Nick may own one, and we spoke about it earlier. Something the high end to me is something that changes vaping, that is revolutionary to the vape industry and what we do as vapors, the velocity deck. That's high end to me. That is revolutionary. It's been cloned many, many times over and redone, influenced. It changed vaping for forever. That in itself gives it a high end classification for me. So Dude, what something the goon, cost? is the goon also in that category then? The goon is one of those hard to talk about because that's not high end to me but that is a revolutionary it's not high end to me but it was very it was revolutionary man that was like that changed uh, the, the goon does have high end the goon has the titanium goons but well sure but not, like, that would be considered that's high not the point you were making though that's the point more... i was making is that it changed vaping for forever but look at the goon style deck the goon style deck yes it's been used a lot but how many mods are coming to the market right now with goon style deck well that's the same thing with the velocity they're still coming out with the the difference is the goon deck hasn't been utilized as much as the velocity velocity. there's still shit coming out with velocity deck this thing here this has the velocity style deck in it this this has velocity build decks in there yes Uh, the velocity to me would be considered high end it changed vaping it brought something to vaping that was not here that will be here for a long time. It's made, it's solidified its time in history. I don't give a shit what something costs. Just because they put a high price tag on it don't mean it's worth it. Hey, you can go find a $10,000 a night 
motel room. It's still a fucking bed with a pillow on it. Dude, I would consider a goon <laughs> to be like a Chinese, like you can get a nice, super quality Chinese product. And I would consider hotel room. I, yeah, hotel room. Hotel room. <laughs> uh, I would consider the goon to be like a mid end, nice RDA. I still would. Uh, what about the, uh, you know, Zen? What about, does anyone remember The proprietary, the yes, the Zen is proprietary. It, it made its mark, you know what I mean? And But unfortunately, it's not a mark that was carried on moving forward, you know? A lot of these companies could have been pulled dick moves and said, hey, if it's a Vandy Vape mod, it's only going to fit a Vandy Vape atomizer on it, you know? But it's going to hurt themselves. You know, if it's a Wodofo mod, it's only going to fit a Wodofo atomizer on it. You know, they well, didn't it, nobody's, the, it, nobody's ever going to consider a Lucid high end. I wouldn't blame them. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> and on no, that note, no. but dude, uh, be, be honest with yourself. The only, the only, like, the Lucid came out. What was any other RDA you ever saw like that? And I'm not trying to, like, I'm just bringing up a point that's based off of what Joel was saying. There's nothing. But it, is it going to be something that's going to be around for a long time afterwards? I'm not is that, saying is it that, is. That, you know what? That could be around for a long, long time afterwards. Is a fly by night thing? Probably. But, and it was, you know what? And I don't think I'm going to, I don't want to say that. I'm not sure. I'm say gonna, it. Say it. I'm not sure I'm going to make any more of the version one. But hmm. the, 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 what you said earlier would put the lucid in a high end category, I think. And I don't, I don't think vaping? it is. I, that's Did it revolutionize in vaping. I didn't say that's that. different. Revolutionizing is different than high end. Yeah. Like, I don't agree with you when you said the velocity build deck is high end. It's not high end. It's a, not it, the velocity build deck, the velocity itself. It's, it's called a game changer. That's yeah, that's it's innovative. Yeah, Innovation is not the same. High end. But go ahead. I'm listening. I want to hear this anyway. Oh, no. Innovation is no, not the same I'm as high end. I know. I, I say. I want You're Mike saying it's just a game changer? Saying. I think it was just a game changer. I don't know if I would consider it to be high end. You know? I'm not sure. You know, if I would consider it that. I would well, game changer, yes. That changed fucking everything. I feel like high end changes with every individual because every individual has their own sense of high end. Like, you know, if you're if wow. your normal go to would be like, you know, a thirty dollar RDA and a, a sixty dollar, you know, regulated mod from China, then high end could be a hundred dollar RDA. And it not, it's not necessarily price tag either. It could be materials, you know, if it has silver-plated contacts or gold-plated contacts or whatever. You know, I feel like it changes for everyone. Yeah. Well, it, it, it that's a damn good answer. That if means. you look at it... Go ahead, Mike. I was going to say, but I could understand what you're trying to say about the velocity because it wasn't mass-produced. Yeah, and that's that's what I was going to say. The, like, when the velocity came out, right they were releasing 50 a week on the on the very first one when they first announced it they were making 50 a week and the only reason they were making 50 a week is not because they couldn't make more it's because they were going through and checking the burrs on the screws inside the posts by hand yeah. they were machining this thing to the nth degree the tolerances are ridiculous Every one of those Velocity V1s and the V2s had Dino and Cisco's quality stamp of approval on them. Yeah, that, to me, that's through. awesome. <laughs> yeah, they went through. The same way with this, right? I gave it a low rating, but I still fucking use it all the time. I love this thing. This is the 502, right? Small batch. Raven's Moon went through, and they were fucking meticulous about this. You could eat your fucking lunch out of the deck of that motherfucker. You know, there is no such thing as machine oil in there. There's no such thing as a burr on a screw. There's no such thing as a scratch on the barrel when you take it out of the box. There's none of that. That is what differentiates high end from, you know, that's what I was saying about every, this mod, everyday man. shit. The so, same thing with uh, Phenom has quite possibly one of my favorite 
uh, looking devices ever. It's a Victor Gonzalez. It's not super expensive. You know, it's, it's well over $300, but the fact that that was taken by one dude in a shop and it was handcrafted to where he held it and said, yeah, I'm happy with that. Right. You know, the price tag doesn't, you know, doesn't justify it being high end. The fact that it was not done until the person who created it said it was done, that makes it high. I've got one of them. Victor and, and, yeah, I know. And you know what? I have, uh, I didn't want to really chime in before about high end or not, but, but uh, I, I have uh, a Matt Bennett and a BT Customs Squarius squonking uh, mod. The Squarius. Yeah, I picked that up. Yeah, I picked that up. Basic. Hmm. And the B stands for basic. No, uh, Bennett. Bennett Tool I'm, Customs. I'm fucking with you, bro. Ah, all right. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Bennett Tool Customs, right? BT Customs. Um, this this is his kind of like budget friendly kind of mod because it's not like super expensive. I paid basically wholesale for it at the show at Foxwoods and. You know, he, he gave me a good deal because he wanted to have it in my hand. He wanted me to have one and he wanted me to use it. And it's, I wouldn't consider it necessarily like high end because I don't know. Um, I guess based on Heavy's definition, yeah, it would be high end because he meticulously goes through and inspects every single one to make sure it's absolutely perfect before he puts it out there. So yeah, under that definition, yeah, it's high end. But personally, I don't consider it high end because I guess I have this like skewed definition of high end because it's not stab wood, because it's not a DNA chip, because it's not 600 plus dollars. It's, it's not technically high end, you know what I mean? So yeah. I guess like heavy, I guess I should give you that credit to say that <laughs> you kind of changed my mind about what is and what isn't high end tonight. So thank you. Me too. I think well, I just realized I have two high end mods. Yay. Yeah, I was gonna say also that too is that when I brought up my definition and heavy you you came in with your counter argument, that did I rethought what I was thinking because that was not, you know, my original thought was not correct. You know, Josh said Josh Hayes in the chat said, you know, innovation is not high end. And I'm gonna agree with that 110%. I agree you know, with that. I'm, I got I'm, for the one time in history. I think I'm going to have to agree that innovation is not because some things that are innovative are also flops. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah that's true too. that is very true too. Yep. You know, uh, that's why. Well, for instance, th this is a, this is a huge. For instance, this is a PVA forty. This is a fucking unicorn of a mod right here. Good luck finding one of these. This was the first. Uh, DNA 40 that ran two batteries in parallel, right? So you got, you could get a hundred fucking days because you're, you're vaping at 12, 15 watts, something like that. But it was a flop. It was a flop. It was a flop because the release date. Yeah. Right? I remember that. I almost, I almost went and bought that. Yep. Like, thank God I didn't. But like, the way I've always looked at it is the, the difference between a mass produced item and something like this, right? This isn't the most expensive thing on my shelf. The half moon uh, squonker. I like that. this is high end. This is, you know, all of these go through three brothers, uh, two brothers and a dad's hand. There is not a seam that you can fucking feel anywhere on this thing. It doesn't leave their shop until it is perfect. They take pride in what they do. That's, you know, that to me is the meaning of high end. Something funny about that squonker mm -hmm. right there, that squonk, that son of a bitch is flawless. I had one given to me and I ended up giving it away. I actually gave it to one of our sponsors at Silverback. I actually gifted it to him because he, he didn't even know what the fuck it was. I was like, dude, you got to see this. This is phenomenal. And Heavy, I watched your review on it, man. And the fact that it was seamless and the, uh, how it was just so smooth. And trust me, when I got it, I went over that son of a bitch with a fine pick on. I was like, all right, I'm going to dig through this. And dude, I couldn't find anything wrong with it. It wasn't, yeah. it didn't fit my style of vaping. It wasn't for me. I gifted it to somebody who would be more than appreciative to have it. Yeah. But I have bought the Sith B2 limited edition thing by Silver Wolf Customs. Son of a bitch was like $375, almost 400 bucks. 
I got it. It was serial number nine, number nine in the world. It was supposed to be, you know, just phenomenal. It looks a lot like this damn thing, too. Designed by the same guy, Greg Stevens, by the way. Okay, so I... But I, I the oh, serial oh. number on the top plate was different than the serial number on the fucking mod. And it pissed me off. I said, I was like, dude, what the fuck do I have 1,389 on a damn serial number on the top plate? But I got serial number nine, in which I paid for. On the side, he said, well, it's how many units we made total on the top cap, but your serial number nine in the red limited edition B2. I'm like, well, fuck that piece of shit. Put it in a bag and gave it away too. I paid 350 bucks for the damn thing. <laughs> well, let's you hear. Know, at that. <laughs> Sorry, let's hear what Demo has to say, and then we're gonna we're gonna to, we're gonna take the conversation down a little bit because uh, we're reaching or we're past that two hour point. Uh, go yeah, ahead, Demo. I, th I think I think a, a good a, a nice end point is what about a mod like this, right? Ooh. You can't you can't buy this, right? No one can buy this. This has to be. Michelle Lynn has to select you and then and then she sent me this mod and I paid nothing for it, right? But there's only 26 of these out there. So would this be high end yeah. or not? There's right. what, 27 of these? Would this be high end or not? It's a basculus. Well, this see, rare is not the same as high end either. Just like in right, exactly. not the same. But as this high was, end. you know, handmade by a, a, a there's some know, Asians that handmade well, this. Look, there's, <laughs> sure this is right. <laughs> there's, Demo, to, to answer your question uh, without being an asshole, <laughs> like, like, uh, like your, your buddy Go over there. Go for it. Uh, <laughs> That's typical. Things, we expect it. <laughs> things, things like that, to me, are more of a, uh, they're not necessarily high end, but they're, uh, they hold more sentimental value than they do See, monetary value. You and I are on the same wavelength because I yeah. never said it was high end, That's right? How like, I feel. I don't. I don't. You know what? Like, and and this is no insult to Michelle Lynn. Michelle Lynn, I don't consider this high end, but I I do consider this a very special, rare piece. Much like all of us here on Vapes do, and we should all wrap up now. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> well, guys, that was, that, that like was a little bit rough. Let's hear, let's hear what Heavy has to say. I'll, I'll put it to you like this, and then and then we can uh, we can wrap this whole thing up. I have had the pleasure of calling uh, Mike Vapes my friend for a long time. Brian Vapor Chronicles. He is th those are my that that's family right there. That's beyond being friends on the internet. I've I've literally slept in the same house as them. Uh, there are some things that I will never get rid of that are cheap the drop is cheap the icon is cheap the iconic is cheap by you know by 90 percent of the world's standards i'll never get rid of those but and and you could not pay me for my stainless steel icon you could not pay me for my drops you could because they were given to me as you know i want you to have this you know, so sentimental value has a lot more than actual monetary value in, in, in a lot of cases. That thing right there was given to me. It has more sentimental value to me than any damn thing. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> okay, blah, blah, guys. Blah, blah, blah. So but that, that, look, that's obsidian. obsidian. Zero number 2020. There's only 3,500 of them out there. It was a gift to me. I've had it brand new. Never even opened it. Never will open it. It was a gift from a personal friend. Absolutely love it. I agree with you, Heavy. Look, cool fire. Twisted edition. You can't buy it. It's, it has no value to you. You can't give me $500 for that damn thing. I want to take it. Oh. All right. So we had a fantastic <laughs> conversation this evening. I really, really, really appreciate you guys being here and talking with us. Um, what's up, Nick? Let's do some Stay IG shout outs with Thank Nick you. real quick. And then Thank you. while we're doing the IG shout outs, I can't see the lights. So can either Dima or... Joel, verify uh, if we're doing a giveaway. Go ahead, Nick. 152 likes, 216 watching. Woo! We, we, That's we, great, guys. Right. That means I get to keep the juice and baby in my damn self. Thank you. <laughs> Go on, Nick. Well, unless unless we get like 50 plus likes by the time I'm done with this. Uh, because we'll we are see. wrapping up. We're going to do yeah. our this or that question, too. So you got a few set. You got like a uh, couple more minutes. So hurry up and hit that like button so we can do a giveaway. Go on, Nick. After show is going to probably start at 1, well, 1 a.m. my time, midnight your guys' time. Anyways, uh, so real quick, uh, Instagram shout-outs. First of all, we have Johnny underscore Drips. Johnny he Drips. has 
he has uh, shown us some love tonight. Big shout out to you, Johnny Drips. We have, uh, let's see here, Sammy Nitro 5150 on Instagram. Big shout out to you. Uh, Frames 116, James Franklin. Shout out to you for showing the love Franklin. tonight for the stew. Uh, we have Clown, Mr. Clown, uh, Clown Vapes on Instagram. Shout out to you for showing the love tonight. That's Clowny Poo. Clowny Poo. Yeah. He, he's totally down to model the vape stew uh, thongs, but nail thongs. Hammocks. Yep. That's going to happen next show. Anyways, <laughs> on lucidrda.com. Um, <laughs> we have vapor underscore uh, swaggins. Um, he has shown some love as well. And we've already shouted out that one. So we're going to say poon sauce underscore mcnasty Every once week, again the best sh- instagram name showing some love poon sauce underscore mcnasty hit that like button make sure you guys get that like up there oh my god we're so close right now actually if we get 40 more likes we can do a giveaway but i don't know you guys all right I don't know. so th- are you done with your shout outs yep that's okay it. so this week's this or that question every week guys we ask our guests and ourselves a this or that question and uh, basically, you have to answer to this or that question, and then you have to give us a reason why. So we're going to start with Heavy, because I think it'd be funny. And uh, Heavy, <laughs> I want to hear the this or that question of the week is, mountain oysters or mud bugs? Oh, mud bugs. All day. <laughs> because, because I eat them anyways. There you go. I forgot where you're from. <laughs> All right. How about you, Nick? We're going to go around the circle here. All right. Well, I, I really badly need some clarification here. What the hell are you talking about? I yeah. want you. I want well, you. Well, fish or you want full balls? Northern. I want you to. And don't you, you, Mike Fates is down there. I want you to answer the question. <laughs> Wait, what, what was the I, question again? It's mountain oysters or mud bugs, bro. Whether you know or not, you just got to answer it. Mountain you don't oysters. have enough time to Google. Okay, so I'll, t- I'll tell you what a mountain oyster no, is. Right? I, can, I can guess. I can guess. I can guess. It's All right. Cow, cow testicles. Just let mm-hmm. it hey, Thanks, Timo. Um, I'm going to go pooper. with uh, what was the, the mud bugs one, even though I really don't like crawfish at all. But I'd rather eat crawfish over testicles all day. Gosh, Sorry. Demo ruined Unless it. there's lots of hot sauce involved. Thanks, Demo. Thanks, Demo. Go You're ahead, welcome. Demo. You're welcome. Uh, I would also choose mud bugs because I have no interest in eating uh, anything's testicles, frankly. Robert Shark. Robert Shorky says sheep balls. How about you, Mike? I'd like to give a shout out to Shane Smith. Absolutely. <laughs> yes. Uh, mud bugs, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Of course. I love crawfish. Thank you for telling me what mud bugs are. <laughs> Damn it. See, you guys are going fun, man. I knew we had Easterners and I knew we had Westerners. Or no, I was going to say the oysters because uh, I like oysters. But I, yeah. see, hey, see. hey, Mike, you want to go for pizza? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I know what Joel's going to say. What are you going to say, Joel? Oh. You know what I'm going to say as an answer for me then? No, go ahead. I want to hear. I'm going to say Rocky Mountain Oysters, man. Woo! Yes, yes, yes. yes. Hold up, hold up. You would rather eat a cow's nuts (laughs) than eat a fucking miniature lobster? (laughs) Are you out of your fucking mind? Never mind. That was a rhetorical question. I am out out of your your mind, Morty. I will. I would do it in a heartbeat, and I've already, I've already eaten both. I already have. But I'm allergic to shellfish. Shellfish. I don't want to fucking die. Technically, they're not shellfish because they're fresh water. But they still fuck me up. They will. Yeah, I will die. For that. Yes, I'm telling you, I cannot do it, man. I promise you, I can. I've already tried. Last time I drank a full bottle. Not last time. Time before last, I drank a full bottle of Ciroc. The dumbass talked me into eating crawfish, and it did not end up pretty. Damn near killed myself. No, uh, will uh, never happen again. I, I will feeling, eat full bottles all day long. I no problem. It's not hard to talk you into much after you had a full bottle of Ciroc. Yeah, that's <laughs> why I got my wife. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm gonna say I've had Rocky Mountain oysters, and they're not bad. I don't care what y'all say. Uh, however, good. it's all about the crawfish down here in Texas. Love me some crawfish. Uh, it's crawfish season right 
now? It's ending. Yes, over. it is. How it's many ending. of you guys know what Ludafisk is? I don't know what Ludafisk uh, is. That is disgusting. See, yeah. I'm from Minnesota, where Ludafisk is a thing. Minnesota. Oh. Minnesota. Ludafisk, Ludafisk is cod that has been soaked in lye. And it makes it, it turns oh, it, it into turns a it. gelatinous, like a jelly, almost like a fish jelly. Yeah. I sauce. thought it was a wrapper for a second. It's Fuck absolutely man. disgusting. <laughs> Horrifyingly awful. Mike. <laughs> but there are people in Minnesota that just love that shit. Is and it I the do. same yeah, thing I'll, as fish I'll, sauce, Demo? No, no. 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 I give a shout out to James Franklin and Morgan Neal. Those are my two shout outs. Bam. I'm done. We should do the golden list, guys. We really should yes, do that. We're gonna finish off with quick. I'm sorry. Go ahead, Nick. Quick, quick, quick. We're going to finish off with the golden list. Um, we're going to go ahead and give away that wonderful bottle, and then we are out of here. We're so, not, we ain't meached it yet. No, we ain't. So, <laughs> all right. Well, Joel One is more. the Joel is the, um, is the the prize patrol of the Stu Crew, so he's in charge of that. If it's so, too hard for you to hit the thumbs up button, then shit, you don't deserve a bottle of juice. Say, I'm I sorry. Think, I don't think we're going to make it. So, anyway, the golden list, guys, is basically our positive take on the industry's negativity uh of the way that, it's the that, reverse of the blacklist there you go i try i try not to, okay that's fine. that's fine so <laughs> yes it's, it's our positive spin on the blacklist okay every week we add a company to the golden list um each of us adds a company to the golden list it can be not only juice it can be any company that you think uh vape related that is positive in the industry does their labeling right um you know basically a positive look for the industry so how about we start with uh, Mike Vapes this time? You got anything for us? A product you want to know? No, it's no, no, a, a company. A, a, a juice, juice company. company. Uh, uh, Manufacturer. Hardware, any... whatever. Like some, something Sorry, that you hardware? think is positive for the... We can do hardware too, but like, you know, like like I know like Watofo is like with Safada and Kasa, like for example, like, you know, like that kind of thing. Or like a juice with responsible branding. So example. as an example, um, as an example, just so that you're aware, Adore E-Liquid is on it. Um, our sponsor is should on it. Should we run down? Should maybe? Well, I mean, it, it's, it's, we'll, we'll, I don't or know. Two, you guys 30 think. minutes over, shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's go. So, let's start pay me for all that, guys. Whatever you think, man. There's no wrong you know, answer. I was no impressed rules. with this, this company here with their labels. You know, there's nothing flashy going on with it. Tinted. What is it called? Tinted Brew? Tinted Brew. Yeah. And not only that, their label itself, the material, I don't know. It's got that material where it's not smooth. It's I don't know how to explain it. It's like ASMR, just like, like uh, yeah. It's yeah. like uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, intimate. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I have to give it to this company. I was impressed with their labels. You know, they didn't right. do anything outlandish like my juice company. Tinted Brew. We are. Uh, we've got it. We've got it here. I've I've got a list, by the way, guys. Um, I can share it. Uh, here, I'll share this link with you guys and then you can all see it everybody who's watching so come on heavy i want to know who you're adding brother hi nick uh i'm gonna add the um you know full disclosure i work for the company uh but i only signed on because they are somebody i can approve of and that is paradigm distro uh paradigm is owned by the president of the msbaa so there's literally not another company in Mississippi that does more ab more for advocacy at a state level than Paradigm does. Uh, they make fantastic products. They're very humble individuals, uh, and their their packaging is as responsible as it can be. So uh, I, I will add Paradigm to it. Respect it. Go ahead, Nick. <clears throat> Permission uh, has been granted. Well, this week I, I will add Mighty Vapors, uh, proud sponsor of the Dad Hat here. Going on and hashtag <laughs> not a snapback. Uh, this is a Dad Hat. Yeah, Mighty Vapors. Uh, they, they, I don't know. They, they just have really classy branding. I don't have any juice. I, now I don't have any juice of theirs on hand. But uh, all of theirs, you guys yeah. probably know it. They're the ones that made Hulk tears. Oh, okay, sure. Yeah, so uh, they have responsible branding. Uh, we're going to take guys, your word for it. They're really good guys, and uh, yeah, I just like them. So there you go, Mighty Vapors. 
Mine's real short, quick, sweet. King's Crest. Oh, yeah. Got to add them guys to the line, dude. Straight, solid people right there, man. And phenomenal juices as well. King's Crest, add to the golden list. Sorry for my loud keyboard, guys. I've got a... Not as sorry as you're going to be, you do it again. <laughs> nice little mechanical <laughs> keyboard there. All right, I've, I've, I got one for you guys. And this is, this is going to come no surprise for anybody who knows me really well. I'm going to go with Namber Juice. Namber from, Juice. From, from uh, Grim Green. Yep. I Get think your knee pads ready. Hey, but it, it is though, frankly, it is. It is It is responsible labeling, responsible packaging. I think it's good for the industry. So what if I like Grim Green, guys? <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag knee pads. And who at least stands. Stand, stand. Okay, so the company that I'm going to add, I was just looking around for the bottle. Where'd it go? Um, Where'd it go? Do, 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 do. Damn, Stan, do, do, do. we had all we prepared for this. Humble Juice Co. You've already added them. I didn't add Humble Juice Co. I'm going to add Humble Juice Co. They're a cheaper brand, but I've met the guys. They're really good. I've met them two or three times at multiple shows. I'll just show you the hat. I was going to show a <laughs> bottle, but I can't find the juice. Humble Juice Co. Um, their branding is fantastic. Uh, so I, I really like I really like those guys, and I really like their branding, and their juice isn't bad. Good shit, good shit. Can I add one more? Yeah, of course sure, you yeah. can. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Uh, is, uh, that the, is that the company or is that just the flavor? No, it's it's made by uh, SoCal Vapes, I think it's called. SoCal Vape. Asai. Asai. Thank you for that, man. Very cool. Very cool. I like that we do that every week. And uh, you guys, once again, thank you so much for being here. Um, is there anything you'd like to plug or anything before we get out of here? Even Where's though you the guys after show? I already posted it. We're good. Okay. Perfect. <laughs> I would uh I would like to make a plug right quick because uh I know my brother doesn't like plugging himself because it, it sounds uh thick headed, but seriously guys, everything that, that you could possibly want as far as uh juice, he's got mods over there. Go by, show some love for Mikey Vapes, hit that juice dot com. Thank you, brother. Very cool. How about you, Nick? Way better than lucidaudio.com. <laughs> <laughs> um, plugs. Uh, his words. Mike, not Mike Vapes plug. Mike Vapes yeah, plug. Let's, let's, let's all just plug Mike Vapes because uh, you got to hit that shit. There you go. Hit that juice.com. Tremendous. Yeah. Tremendous. <laughs> <laughs> so, what am I going to plug? <laughs> yes, sir. I am. Are we signing off too after or not? Pretty much, yeah. Fine, yeah. Okay. So I'm going to plug the upcoming recurve. Dude, I love the damn thing. I can say that. I love it. I absolutely love it. Cannot wait to get my hands on one. While the live stream was going, I actually sent an email and said, hey, I am on the list, right? And he's like, we got you down for X amount. So, yeah, I'm happy about that. <laughs> and the rest of this Vapes Do crew as well. No, I said, fuck them guys. They remain. Call, <laughs> call. <Cough, cough. laughs> but no, nah, really, man. Mike Vapes, heavy. Thank y'all for joining us here, man. Uh, you know, we're the new guys. We appreciate that. And we know you never heard of us. Thank so you for fun. having us. <laughs> <laughs> I see what you did there. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Just Right One, checking in and checking out at the same damn time. I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it to you. Absolutely understand. I mean what I say whenever I say it. If at any given point in time you've ever felt like you are not a somebody, I want you to know you are a somebody in somebody's eyes, and that somebody is me. I absolutely love y'all. Be blessed. Bye. One dollar. <laughs> Demo, go. Oh, it's me. Okay, awesome. Well, thank you all for watching this uh, edition of Vape Stew. And uh, yeah, you know, if, if you guys haven't haven't seen my channel, go check out Demo Vapes on YouTube. <clears throat> Got an Instagram at Demo underscore Vapes, uh, Twitter at Demo Vapes, and um, that's about it. I also have a Facebook group, uh, Demo's Vape Lounge, as well. I'm gonna see if I can if I can actually get this into a link here this time because I think I figured out the issue here. So let me see if I can actually do that. But anyway, yeah, so I have a Facebook group and we also have the Vape Stew Crew on Facebook. Go check it out. Vape Stew Crew, all one word. 
uh, it's a great, uh, it's, it's, a, it's a great group. We've got a phenomenal community going so far. So growing go check fast it out, guys. Too. It's growing fast too. Yes, it is. Is that it? So, boom, my link works in chat. Hey. Will you do that for the Vance Stew crew as well? Oh yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> in, in a minute. Right. <laughs> I gotta let, I gotta let mine go up a little bit. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So I greatly appreciate you guys being here. The Vape Stew Crew. Check it out. Facebook. Demo's going to put the link in chat in a minute. And uh, remember that we have a very special Stooge crew member that is giving away this redemption via my channel. Um, you have to be a subscriber here on the channel as well as a member of Vape Stew Crew. Those are his stipulations. So make sure you're doing both of those if you want a shot at this black redemption rda thank you very much sir you know who you are um lucidrda.com if you guys want to check out the lucid rda there's not many left and i don't know if there's going to be a lot more so um check those out dreamer mods anything else that mike vapes doesn't have on hit that shit.com or hit that juice.com sorry <laughs> <laughs> hit that juice.com it'll be on lucidrda.com maybe so uh check that out and Really appreciate you guys being here. We're here every night, every Friday night at 9 p.m. live, unless there's a show going on. So you guys stay safe. You guys have a fantastic rest of your day. And remember, vape on, friends. <laughs>